FLGN coverage of the Las Vegas Open is made possible by the generous support of our sponsors. Alkilabs.com Matalus.com Play with magic. Frontline Gaming, Champions of Tabletop. Best Coast Pairings, Competitive Events Made Easier. The Army Painter, More Time for Gaming. Live game scores are powered by the Tabletop Battles app. Available now on Android and coming soon to iOS. Perfect. Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome yeah, back to... Sorry. Welcome back to the Shadow Round. How you doing? We're, in, we're here. We're at the Rio in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Shadow Round. Everyone's been kicked out of the room. That's there right. are just it's a 14 players, two judges, and us in here. Pretty much. And we have to be very quiet because everybody can hear everything we say. I have never felt so corralled, contained. Not quite emasculated, but not far off. I tried to eat a chicken finger a minute ago, there and it was knocked out of my hand. Slapped it, slapped it down. So guys, we've got a beautiful game set up for you here oh, today uh, for this, this uh, shadow round. And we also have multiple table bosses covering the rest of the shadow round games. So we'll have information for you about mm -hmm. everything that's going on. Um, the game that we're covering, you can see it on the screen right now. It's Alex McDougall playing Tyranids, Canada's hometown hero. The one last of two. Hive mind standing. Yeah, and one of two Canadians still in the running versus Evan Thompson, who you may remember from last year's LVO yes. when he made it to the top four with Custodes, this yeah. time playing Tau. The mission we're, we're using here that was rolled on is Death and Zeal. Adam, do you want to go over Death and Zeal Yeah, this is a hold one, hold two, five objective mission played in table quarters. We were already, I uh, already had a little talk with Thompson as I was walking past, and he was like, he was very worried about this with how close all those Ravenous, all that Kraken, juicy, aggressive stuff can start toward, next to his army. And should, should Alex go first, he's got some concerns. The, um, so you can, this is a sticky objective mission. So if you control the objective with obsec units and then move off it, you <laughs> retain control of it. Uh, In addition, okay. there is uh, an extra progressive oh, yeah, po a component. Right. It's called Direct Assault. And then if each player's turn, the player's turn it is scores two victory points uh, um, or yeah. three if they satisfy uh, both of the following. Point. They hold every objective marker on the table or they hold at least one objective marker they did not hold at the start of their turn. And they destroyed at least one enemy unit that was in range of an objective marker. I almost expect both of them to do this every turn, but in different ways. Yes. This is definitely going to be a pretty high scoring mission for both Absolutely. players, or at least it should be. The one thing we need to remember um, is last year, Alex McDougall lost his chance at getting into the finals of the LBO because he forgot the mission that he was on had <laughs> sticky, sticky objectives. objectives. So um, I'm really looking forward <laughs> to seeing if he forgets again um, so that I can uh, meme on him, for, meme on him for the rest of his life. No 12 months. So we've already talked about the mission. Let's get into Dude, the lists. The lists. So uh, your boy, you're gonna do the t you're gonna do the nids. I'm gonna do the tau. Matt Estrada is a tau sept army. He's got he's got double Evan control. Thompson. Evan Thompson. There's four tau players here. There's four tower players. Evan Thompson has a double patrol and a supreme command. So you know he has uh, shadow sun. Um, he starts off with uh, Anvar who's essentially a super chaplain for mm -hmm. all intents and purposes. Gives a lot of beautiful buffs, gets you some CP as well. He has a cold star commander, absolutely tooled up to the nines, the projectors, the, you know, um, rerolls to hit rerolls to win position for the hunter. Ten crew, two sun shark bombers, because why would you ever not play them in Nephilim? And then he's got a second patrol. This one has a crisis battlesuit commander with an advanced burst cannon, all that good stuff, a bit of a flame, a bit of a target lock, a bit of a bits and pieces. Long strike, which is going to be pretty pretty key here mm -hmm. if you can if you can do things like popping yeah. the tyrant guard it will one sh it will happily one shot a uh, the hive tyrant for you 10 more crude and then two fatty units of crisis suits each one i think is of uh five suits with uh cyclic ion uh plasma rifles and burst cannons so yeah. it's, it's a pretty standard loadout pretty so standard like the triple threat make sure yeah. you have a, a way to deal with any target yeah and then he's got two units of four crew that makes up the list so it is well, i like to call this the the double duty the double everything it's got the he's got only one long strike but it's got two commanders two crisis suit units two two bombers it's the two of everything good essentially it's a deadly, deadly list, and it's performed extremely well at this LVO. Um, we always knew it could be an issue, um, but um, 
it really outperformed the Thousand Suns list we expected mm-hmm. to see, which, I mean, there are still a couple in contention. One. Uh, <laughs> that being TJ Lanigan. Uh, and it outperformed the Tyranids list uh, as well, which there's, there's only now one. still only one remaining. The so two, what we would have considered the two top lists coming into this event. So there's no sisters, there's no Necrons. There's. What, there's two demons, two space marines, which are both blood angels, but there's four Tau. Tau have four absolutely Tau. been annihilating people. It's It's been an amazing thing. Some of it has to do with the terrain. Some of it just like the, the caliber of players that yeah. brought Tau. Brought Tau. Um, because we see like Brad Chester is still in it with Tau. Evan Thompson, exactly. who has made yep. it a long way already. Nassim Fuchain. Um it, this this is this is becoming the Tau show, and it's beautiful. I, I actually appreciate the the fact that Tau are getting this kind of last stand, uh, because they were kind of they weren't talked about enough. I think in the last couple of months, as, as how top, good they were as, as a top, a top contender. Per, uh, people contender. were looking so much at Necrons for a long time, yeah. Yeah. and then they dropped off. And people were like, oh, it's all about the Tyrians, all about the T Suns. Mm-hmm. But man, I, mean, I, I think Tau absolutely annihilate T Suns. There is some tech that has been added to this Tyrians list to make it better into the Tau matchups. Yeah, we see the double Flyerans, the double units of Hive Guard as well, because what they were finding is that the Sun Sharks, when they went first, could easily pick up one unit of, of Tyrant Guard, exposing the Flyer, who would just get one shot by Long Strike. Yes. And so now there's the double unit for the double redundancy there, so it's going to be a lot harder. So let's go over the Tyranid list real quick while they're starting their deployment here. Um, so Alex McDougal, he's a longtime Tyranid player. He's never really dropped them. He's running... Um, Kraken, as we had come to expect, he's got three Tyrant Guard, a Zoanthrope with Neuroparasite and Synaptic Lure. Um, he's got, uh, sorry, that's uh, three neuro- uh, Zoanthropes. He's got a Neurothrope with Onslaught um, he, and Direct Guidance for the Warlord trait. He's got his one Winged Hive Tyrant uh, with Onslaught as well uh, and Psychic Scream. He is running Maw Claws of Thyrax on that one. That is a relic um, that gets stronger and stronger the more units more that the unit. Hive Tyrant is able to kill. It already starts pretty damn strong. Yeah, and it already starts quite strong. He's got, for troops, ten Gargoyles. Um, he's got another three Tyrant Guard. Another uh, three Zoanthropes. He's got a unit of five Raveners, a unit of four Raveners. He's got a second patrol of Kraken, um, this time with the Hive Tyrant with the uh, Reaper of Obliterax. Uh, This is a close combat monster in the extreme. He does extra mortal wounds. He ignores all sorts of different abilities of your opponent. uh, He's meant to just pick up entire swaths of units. Uh, This squad does have three Tyranid Warriors, two of them with Death Spitters, one with a Venom Cannon. Give him a little bit of extra uh, shooting range in yep. the backfield. He's got three Venom Thropes, which are just like one of the better utility uh, units in the game. Um, a Parasite of Mortrex, which is actually kind of uh, Alex's little special treat mm-hmm. that we don't see as often, um, even though it is a fantastic unit. It's amazing. And it's uh, actually going to be really good in this matchup, I believe. Um, he's got three Biovores, and he's got a Spore Assist. So Adam, just talk to me for a minute about a Spore Assist, because fortifications okay. have not been a thing in this game for a while, and then the Spore Assist started just showing up everywhere. It's a sentient scrotum. That, that is true. That shoots out spore mines every turn. It's yes. got a bunch of guns as well. They have to shoot the closest targets if mm-hmm. available. It only hits on fire, so that's not why it's here. It's here to create and generate a spore cloud. With when combined with the biovores, just get in the way and should you touch them, deal you mortar wounds. Now, what's a big deal for Tau is that they have a lot of guns, so they can pick these things up. But every time they have to shoot a, a nice gun that could be shooting something good at something like a spore mine it's just something that's not going where it needs to be into strong tough imposing terrifying units mm-hmm. um, uh, and right now we're seeing that they're going through dis- uh, going through their deployment um, it's a lot of me- range measurements um, we talked to Evan uh, pre-game a little bit about the, the matchup he's a little nervous because of the terrain yeah because um, the, ter- the terrain is good for the nids and, ter- and they got first placement you see that L in the middle of the table yes that was that was Alex's first piece of terrain being placed and it's the perfect staging area to get a lot of your army behind it and then just dive bomb into the tower lines and the thing about death and zeal the way that the deployment works is it's corner deployment but in, uh, but um, you, you basically get almost the entirety of a quarter of the yeah. board to use yeah. with the exception of a six inch diameter circle um, or six inch, uh, no, sorry, nine inch yeah. uh, uh, radius um, in the middle of the board. Uh, this means that Alex is starting very close, mm-hmm. but more importantly, in a player place terrain scenario, um, he's able to create this uh, this ruin there that's going to block off a lot of Evan's shooting. Yep. Um, and it's going to force him to, to commit a little more. Mm-hmm. Um, and with the Tyrant Guard in play, with the Double Hive Tyrant, he's saving himself from those Sunshark Bombers that, that have proven to be absolutely so, so deadly as Tau points have changed over Dude, time. Th- with, with, with no 
sarcasm at all. Those tower bombers might be the best thing in the game right now. Yep. They are absolutely horrific. They do so much heavy lifting. They can go anywhere. I mean, Nassim, I was talking to him before, he's, he's picked up five characters by sniping them with uh, with planes this event so far. And he could be playing, I mean, he's playing one more. He could play three more games, pick up three more, four more characters with them. It's yeah, kind of ridiculous. It's going to be very interesting with Ark of Omens, what Tower are going to do with mm, the Sunshark right. Bomber basically out of the, out of the out of play. Yeah, look, I'm I'm not convinced they're untakeable. I don't think they, I don't think you start with every list with two of them <laughs> no. anymore, though. No, the, the CP usage you have to do because they have to start yeah, in reserve is a big deal. Well, you don't need to, they, they go on reserve for free. Uh, I believe Flyers have to pay. Oh, okay. Um, regardless... We're not in Ark of Omens right now. We're still playing Nephilim. Yeah, that's that's Monday talk. <laughs> that's Monday talk. <laughs> let's take it for a second and let's look at the secondaries because we do we do have them popped up here. So Alex has chosen Cranial Feasting, oh. Banners, and Warp Ritual. Uh, so Banners, this is a very common one. You folks at home, if you've watched 40K before, it's uh, it's kind of like a, a catch-all secondary. Um, if you place a, um, a unit on an objective, they can choose to perform an action where they place a banner on that objective. And as long as uh, no enemy units come into that objective and, and take it down, um, they score one point per turn on, that, uh, on those objectives. Um, and then Warp Ritual... This is a this is kind of like easy points for Alex. Absolutely, this is uh, the easiest points he's going to get. Because Tau do not have very many ways to deny uh, casts, and I'm not even sure if Evan's list has a way I to don't deny. It does. Um, it does. So in that case, um, it's basically free points. He's, he'll be able to score up to 12 points on Warp yeah. Ritual, and, and that's performed by being having a psychic do a psychic action, so essentially a cast a spell, um, the, the exclusive spell. You can't cast anything else yeah. unless otherwise stated. Within six of the middle of the board, I'm going to just assume that that p that L terrain piece was placed so we can place a unit ex perfectly within six yep. in that quarter uh, or that corner of that ruin. And what we've seen, what I've seen, because I've watched a few of Alex's games at this event when I've had any kind of break, is it's normally going to be his uh, Neurothrope because yep. it, it will often survive most things popped into it. Mm -hmm. So he can easily sit in the middle and he... That's all he uses it for. Yeah. Now, Cranial Feasting, this is a Tyranid-specific secondary. And Adam, do you want to talk to me a little bit about this? This one is the spicy pick. I'm not sure if there was a better pick or if this is just a, if I am winning, this is going to make sure I win. Or like, if I, if I get to groups with him. So this is this is each time an enemy character, model, or unit champion. So anytime a sergeant is dead, anything of that nature is destroyed by a melee attack made by a Hive Tendril model. So anything in Alex's army, uh, roll a d6. <coughs> Add two to the result if the Hive Tendril model has the feeder tendrils key word, which mm -hmm. I'm, is lictors and things of that ilk, <coughs> um, and add two to the result uh, if the res destroyed model has the character keyword. On a six, you gain a CP. Um, but how many points do you get for this? Um, you get... You get it's a, it's a bit to explain. Yes. You get three points if you gained one or more command points during this turn due to the secondary. So if you do get, you just get three points if you generate the CP. So on a four plus, if you kill a character in mm -hmm. melee, you get a CP and you get three points. One victory point for each enemy unit champion that is destroyed in melee. Three points for any each enemy character unit and score three additional victory points if the enemy warlord is destroyed, if you're destroyed by a melee attack. Um, so it's, it's essentially a, an assassinate with some extra goodness. Yes. Um, where this comes in is that there's units in the in the opposing army that are very much throwaway units, like the the, the Crisis Commander, mm -hmm. the, the Cold Star Commander, who likes to shoot on and j jump on in and snipe things like Neurothropes, things like uh, or, or try and finish things like Hive Tyrants. You do that, you're going to give up a lot of points. Mm. Um, looks like we are into turn one, and who went first? Um, so it sounds like Tyranids went first, um, <laughs> and from what I'm told. Um, Alex put, kept one unit of Raveners in reserve, mm -hmm. so basically everything else is in play here for him. Um, I, I would like to point out the secondaries before we head over to the the players. So the secondaries for Evan, he's got no prisoners, so essentially every time, if every kill, every 10 kills, 10 Every wounds, 10 wounds that he does to he's the... Gonna uh, he's going to get uh, And uh, it's rounded up, yep. and there are 127 wounds in Alex's uh, yep. army, so, so he'll be able 14. to score a maximum of, yeah, 14, 14 points. because of uh, Warlord, correct? Yep. Um, then decisive action, depending if... We're, we're going to have to ask our table boss when they get a chance to tell us if Evan has gone into Kaoyon or Montcar, because that'll tell us which way decisive action is going to score, but essentially it's uh, Stranglehold, Mm -hmm. So holding more objectives than your opponent at the bottom of your turn for four points. But either either if he's chosen Montcar, it's the first three turns. If he's chosen Kalyon, it's the last three turns. And if I was him, I would have chosen Kalyon. I don't yes. know how you feel about it. And this maxes out at 12, as, yeah. uh, just like Warp Ritual. So uh, Evan can max out at 97 points. Now, points don't matter as much in this because this is a shadow round. Yeah, they do not count towards ITC. It's just win or lose here, guys. Um, and lastly, he took Aerospace Targeting Relay. 
So this is a very interesting one. So essentially you put a token at the midpoint of every table uh, border, at the border of the t every table. So you see we've got a short edge coming down our left, the left hand side of our, of our, um, our beautiful view of the top down. So a, a literally 22 inches up from either side, either long edge, there is a counter, a theoretical counter there, that if a unit does an action within range of three inches of that counter, they will get a bunch of points. And it, it, it goes up by the, the amount he's able to do. Naturally, the ones that are on the long edge on Alex's side of the table is going to be very hard to do because it's exactly 30 inches up right in the middle. So literally it, <laughs> anything, anything in his army can charge anything that goes there. Yeah. It's kind of... You do two really easy, and then if you're winning, you slam down yeah. and you can get four. You could do multiple in the same turn. I've seen good guys, good tower players like Hayden Waldock do all four in the same turn. Because he's just like, I spend four turns tabling you, then then uh, scramble, 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 action, 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 bang. Take all and the in, points. in this scenario where we're not playing for points, this is more of a, a lot of people would call it a win more secondary. Um, but the big thing is, is that what it's going to do um, is it's going to force Alex to to uh, reposition himself to try and decli to, to decline that so that if he falls on his back foot, he doesn't fall too far behind. Um, I would like to say our table boss has updated us. Kaoyuan has been selected, as we were pretty sure it would. Yeah. It's a vast superior one in this matchup. Um, Zach Stoltz has asked a very interesting thing about this shadow round. So how does the shadow round usually work, mate? So the normal way a shadow round works is we select... Um, uh, FLG will select a number of players uh, that automatically make it into the... the um, the last day of the event, and generally it's based on how many undefeated we're going to have. Yep. Um, in this case, because we had 15 undefeated players, to make sure we had a real top eight and to make sure that all undefeated players had a shot at uh, making it all the way in, um, Sean Naden, who finished first, was allowed to skip the shadow round, and he's going to move straight into the next day. We interviewed him earlier, and he's gotten to go take a bath and do whatever he wants. The next 14 players um, had to play in this round in order to make the, like this seven winners yeah. have to make it through so it's essentially we had 15 undefeated so either either we have to either everyone has to play and one person with a draw gets in or we just cut to the undefeated players and the top guy gets a pass yeah. which is what they chose to go with so literally sean naden being the top seed right now got the free pass into the finals making it essentially every lvo bar one he's made the finals what a freak yeah um, and great to see him back in fine form but yeah everybody else has to battle it out and no one else gets a free pass and to be honest last lvo he was also undefeated i do believe with a draw with, but a, with last a, with a year draw, several yeah. draws were allowed to make it into the yeah. the um the shadow round exactly right all right we're gonna we're gonna give you a little bit of call we got wonderful table bosses stationed at every other of our tables naturally if you so please you can go and double screen and i highly suggest you double screen if you have two screens our wonderful game and the nasim fushane um versus da -da 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 -da, what's his name uh nasim N Nassim and um, another gentleman. Jay Edgar. Jay Edgar, that's it, with the CSM. Empress Children versus Tau is also being played over on Wargames Live. You should definitely double screen that, but I'm about to give you guys an update from our table bosses. We have one stationed at every other table here. The TJ Lanigan versus Jack Hafster game. What's happened there so far? So TJ selected no prisoners, psychic prowess, and psychic inter interrogation for his secondaries. Jack chose banners, fury of the lost, and shock tactics. These are the secondaries he always selects. Uh, TJ got to choose first terrain, and Jack got to but choose. Jack, I got to go first. To go first. Um, and this is kind. Of, this is an interesting thing for Jack. TJ is always a very defensive player. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he likes to stay back. He doesn't mind sacrificing a zero or a four on his yeah. first turn yeah. to force you to come to him. And the thing is, oftentimes when you play into a Blood Angels player, they're very aggressive. Exactly Jack is right. the opposite. Jack has has built a list mm -hmm. that very much uh, loves to get four on well, uh, Fury and on Shock Tactics by yeah. doing basically nothing. Well, this is exactly right. So if TJ does just stays back Jack already starts up the board. He can. He already has the infiltrators. He's going to start mm -hmm. up the board. Those infiltrators are going to be really key to stop the all the redeploys and the red deep strikes and gates from the cult of duplicity psychic power. So Jack can pretty sits pretty stable and just rack up to twelves and not not leave. Just just sit still and then really be able to respond to anything TJ tries to do. So Jack going first is pretty good for Jack, I believe. Um, this the next uh, matchup we've got is Matt Estrada versus Matt Morisoli. The battle of the mats. The battle one, of the mats. One shall be in our top eight, one shall fall and be a lesser Matt. <laughs> <laughs> lesser Matt. So Matt Morisoli here, he's, he was just on stream if you were paying attention uh, earlier. He's running Chaos Demons, a very interesting Chaos Demon list, the Yu-Gi-Oh list we're now calling it. Oh, Jesus. Um, and he uh, is playing into Estrada, uh, playing Tau. Uh, Estrada uh, chose Decisive Action, Aerospace Relay, 
and bring it down, mm -hmm. uh, versus solely choosing reality rebels, warp ritual, and bring it down. Estrada got first terrain. They're still ju they're just finishing up terrain setup uh, yep. right now, so we haven't seen who's gone first. I believe they're just moving into deployment. We'll get more information as it goes. Next we up, we have Nick Nanavati versus Ben Jones. Ben of Jones. Uh, Nick has taken banners, grind, and reality okay. rebels. And then Ben has taken no prisoners, nice, retrieve shot. data, and assassinate. You know? Ben got the first terrain drop and first turn. Uh, Warwalkers have pot shot uh, Kairos, Fate Weaver, and a few flamers, killing one flamer and taking four wounds off the big bird himself. Striking Scorpions charge Nurglings, killing them, and completes his first RND. Then uh, I think he's tapped it over to Nick for the bottom of turn one. That's a that's a pretty big turn for Ben. It, like it doesn't sound like a lot, uh, but uh, those Warwalkers. Uh, they're, they're kind of a key unit for Absolutely. his army. Um, yeah. We saw Stephen Box and Ben running very similar lists and mm -hmm. doing very well at this event with them. Uh, next up, we have team Tim Dietliffs uh, playing into Mike Porter. Yep. So Mike Porter is one of the players still in the running to win the ITC mm -hmm. at this event. Um, he, I believe he's in the top five. One of two UK players as well. He's third. He's third in the world. Third in the world. He's the top-ranked player in the world. Right. I oh, know Jack Hafter is number Jack, two. Yes. So number two, number two, number three still represented. And the thing about Mike Porter here, um, he he is 31 and one this year in play. Insane. Uh, Insane. He's one, one loss to Annis Wilson. He's he's practically undefeated, and he's like that every year. It's mm -hmm. just he doesn't often get to attend as many gigantic events. Yes. This is his first time, I think, coming to LVO, mm -hmm. and he's been really uh, dumpstering people here. He's been kind of the best or second third best player in the UK for many a year yeah. it's only really this year we've got to put his name on the map and he and plays really everything and he does it all well yeah, he's all so he's top um, both players took behind enemy lines Weave Veil and Deadly Performance because this is a mirror, mirror match, match by the Harlequins way Harlequins on Harlequins, Harlequins. Harlequins. both Light Sadeth as well yeah uh, Mike got first terrain drop and first turn another thing about Tim Dietliffs he's on Team Canada so he's my favorite to win this even <laughs> though I know Mike is kind of the considered a bit of a thing Tim's a bit of a Sasquatch but we all love him uh, Mike's running a, runs a troop unit into Tim's backfield objective charges a Star Weaver to get his early points for behind enemy lines and Weave Veil and then passed his turn. Mm. So we're moving into Tim's turn. We're going to see what happens I'm next. I'm really interested to see if this is just going to be a little points, peer points, their very cagey game or if it's just going to be shove it in, I think I'm going to win. Honestly, having watched both of these players play, I would not be surprised if we have three turns of of tit for tat, yeah, and yeah. then uh, almost a mirror in how they do everything. Yep. Leave it to dice, and then it's turn four, turn five to see who has the better go. Yeah. Absolutely, throw, throw, throw haymakers. Lastly, we have Brad Chester versus Oliver Smith. Uh, their secondaries is a banners, no prisoners, and decisive action for Brad. And then Oliver has taken relentless assault on banners and kill units from reserve. Kill units from reserve. That's the that's a death company one, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So. Um, Oliver reserved a uh, drop pod with two units of devs inside it and mm -hmm. eight sanguinary guard. Taking the devs in Blood Angels, I love it. It's yeah, I love it too because it often doesn't have a lot of shot. They often, uh, well, uh, it Blood Angels often don't have much shooting in their list. And there's no downsides to the pod in this army. When you play it in all shooting army like Iron Hands, people can really use that pod against you. Oh, cool. Congratulations, you charged the pod and I can't <laughs> shoot you. Congra <laughs> enjoy your Sangard. Enjoy your Sangard. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your, your Sangard. death company. Um, Brad chose to reserve his crisis suits. I believe yep. uh, one squad from what I can see here. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad did get to go first. So this is an interesting matchup. They're playing on the Sisters of Battle terrain, mm. one of the newer sets from FLG. It's got a lot of line of sight blocking. Great. It's not great for Brad. Um, so I'm very curious it's going to be I've, in my opinion what the shut sun shark bombers are going to be allowed to do turn one as to how this game kind of goes yeah. uh brad's an excellent player he's always at the tops of the itc oliver is actually a well known for being a white scars player if yes. i recall uh yes. so moving to blood angels a big thing for him i'm curious to see how this game plays out exactly right i think are we into the bottom of turn one are we still playing in 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 McDougal's plane. Uh, looks like he has spread his army pretty well. Looks like we've got some gargoyles that have gone down onto the bottom right-hand objective. The middle objective doesn't look like it's got anything on it, unless that is a Neurothrope under that. I overhang. believe he does have a, um, a Neurothrope and some Tyrant Guard. That's yeah. uh, in that but middle. But just how imposing is that flyer and just hanging out there being blocked by all these other units. I mean, it's really hard to get lines of fire on it. You have to go to such extremes. Those crates are, are beautifully placed by Alex as well. Now, I just want to draw people's attention to those pl crates in the, the upper left-hand quarter. Um, that block so much line of sight. Yeah. So much line of sight. There's such a useful placing of them. And of course, should he go into the bottom right-hand quarter to get line of sight into that middle, he's just going to get eaten alive by yeah, so many units. And we do see that Alex also placed, it uh, looks like five or six uh, spore mines on that mm. top left objective, yep. um, right, uh, right beside, uh, what are those uh, we have here? 
Crute, Crute to the left yes. of that L in the top left-hand corner. So I call this paying the paying the sport tax. Yes. If you want to interact, he's on the other side of the terrain, so they have to come up into range of the spore mines to shoot the spore mines. A la, they get killed by the spore mines. Yes. That's a really really clever thing. Um, so honestly, spore mines are, bull are BS. They're, they're total BS. They shouldn't exist. <laughs> and happy they don't. Yeah. I, I come Monday, they don't. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> happy days. Now, we are having some pretty interesting conversation with the players. How about we cut to them just for a second, yeah. and we'll get some updates for you, and we'll come right back. You got it, boys. Okay, player mics are hot. I'm not getting it. Oh, yeah, oh unfortunately for me. Um, I can... Um, fire and feed back, so I'll be hanging out here. And you will come try to gobble me up, potentially. My dealer. Um, and there's a five man ravener there. Mm -hmm. So let's open the back guy even. P's here. Uh, yeah, I can still grab a claw. So, okay. So everyone. Well, be, remember, you can't get. Yeah, yeah, I'm including that. I'm just talking about the mm -hmm. claw sticking out over here, basically. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily a good play either way. I'm coming super close and uh, maybe killing a couple raveners. Warriors, mm -hmm. Tyrant Guard. Yeah. 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Oh, you did do me. Cool. Well, long, str and then there's three high guard, a Tyrant Guard back there somewhere. Yep. Yeah, cool. Um, the only thing long strike you try to do is take a big shot. On this angle, so I guess your little thing is sticking out a little bit. So I can. How many wounds is your forces? Ten. Cool. So if I come to about here, I'm still over your little claw that sticks out. That model is so giant. Mm -hmm. I'm just going off the little piece yep. sticking out. <coughs> and so I should be able to sit about right here. Okay. Take a shot at you with long strike. Uh, hopefully, kill that guy. Um, I'm going to ask you a hundred times this war mine rule, so someone's going to run into you and take mortals. Yep. Um, you roll, on a one it's nothing, and on a six it's three? Uh, one is nothing, two to four is one, five and six is three. D3. Five D3. and six is D3, got you. Yeah, and I should have them all three inches on the closest point, so. Uh, what do you mean three inches? Just so, oh, so if I step if on you it. Of course, yeah, 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 hundred um, percent. So what is that on average? This should average six. Average six? Okay. Cool. Um... I'm gonna give you my crew dogs. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them. Uh, sorry, one thing. Oh. <coughs> the only other thing I could possibly do is come on the other side, hang out over here with the crew dogs. Ooh, try, yeah. And then just airburst you. Remember, you if you even on the passing through, you don't pass through. No. One, two, three, there. The only thing is I move twelve and I uh, get to reroll advances okay. for free, so pretty reasonable that I can go like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I airburst you. You better die be awkward if you don't. And then I have four crew just kind of holding their, you know, what's in their hands. But, I mean, it's kind of a meme that you then have to go put them back there. So yeah, so we're going to not kill myself for no reason. Okay. Um, that's fine. Longstrike's going to come here and try to shoot there. Dogs are going to do that play. Uh, I don't think anything's coming out really. There's no meaningful reason to. If I jump to here and I shoot five plasmas at these raveners, and then I fire and fade six inches, I wind up here, roughly. What does this do for me? Uh, where are your other raveners? Oh, in reserves. Not on the board, yeah. Sorry. Great. That's nope. good to know. <laughs> no um, yeah, you're not about to like, ah, they're here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh. Surprise! Cool. So you have reserves coming in. Tyrants are 12 wounds. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And they move 12 base? 17. <laughs> because why? Fair and balanced. 17. I'm pretty sure it's a leftover from the old Tyranny Codex where they were like, that's fine, they don't do anything. And they're like, hey, let's make them destroy the world. 
They, it sounds like they destroy the world. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So if I try to do a move block with these crew, and I come step here, and then you're going 17, so you're not clearing this funky crater. So you are going to get stuck wherever my move block is. And then I could have Kroot, or my guys healthily here, about a nine inch charge, roughly. I'm like a minus to you. It's probably not that exciting for you to take. So I will do that, and I'll just try to kill five Raveners, and then tell me what could threaten me. Nothing really could get here, because I'm move blocking that guy. Raveners are going to show up potentially over here. Um, and they just have to make a nine inch charge out of deep strike. Okay, nice Evan is sitting here talking So they're talking just going to shoot the crisis, but then you aren't going to take a little bit of charge. That doesn't turn. sound that exciting and for anybody. He's doing a good job of talking it out, but he's not so gonna, I don't believe he's accomplishing <laughs> much with what he's doing. He's going to shoot some warriors, what I believe are warriors, in the middle here, between the two flyrants. And then he's going to fire and fade back um, to hopefully a position of safety. And hopefully he's measured out all these things, because that flyrant might be able to make it from there. And yeah, it should be, should be pretty spicy. Um, I liked how he negotiated the spore mines. I thought that was quite clever. Yes. So it was like I love how he talked it through. He worked his way through, figuring out exactly what he needed to do. Um, and it sounds like his plan is to advance his uh, crew dogs, his crew hounds, around because they have a good 12-inch move. They re-roll advances for free. It's it's more than likely he's going to get a 16, 17-inch move off this and easily get around them. And then he can use his airburst uh, fragmentation uh, shots to kill the spore mines. Um, now, we do have an update from the field from Dustin Henshaw himself. It looks like he is far less wet now that there are less people in the room. So we're going to cut to him any moment uh, just to get like an actual live update on what's been going on. Beautiful. We'll see you soon, guys. FLG and coverage of the Las Vegas Open is made possible by the generous support of our sponsors. Alkilabs.com Matalus.com Play with magic. Frontline Gaming. Champions of Tabletop. Best Coast Pairings, competitive events made easier. The Army Painter, more time for gaming. Live game scores are powered by the Tabletop Battles app, available now on Android and coming soon to iOS. Thanks, Falcon. I'm actually quite dry right now. I have not had to run around. Everybody's a lot closer, more closed in. So I do have some quiet updates for you. TJ versus Harpster. That means TJ took no prisoners, psychic prowess, and psychic interrogation. Jack took banners, a fury of the lost, and shock tactics. TJ got the first terrain. Jack went first. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm trying to get the rest of these up here. Matt versus Matt Morisali in his Matt Mirror is undefeated right now. Estrada he took he, Estrada took decisive action, bring it down in aerospace relays. Morisali took reality rebels, a warp ritual, and bring it down. And Estrada got first train and Morisali got first turn. Nick versus Ben. Nick took banners, grind, and reality rebels, and Ben took no prisoners, retrieve data, and assassinate. Ben got the first terrain drop and the first turn. Warwalkers pot shot Ky Kairos and t few flamers killing one flamer and taking four wounds off Kairos right away. Striking scorpions charge some nurglings, killing and killing them and completes the first R and D. Next turn two, the two men flamers hit the scorpions back, killed four of them, and the smites killed the Warwalker past his turn. Tim versus Mike in the mirror match of Harlequins. Both players took behind enemy lines, weave veil, and deadly performance. Mike gets first terrain drop and first turn. So Mike runs a troop unit into Tim's backfield objective and charges the Star Weaver to get his early points on behind enemy lines and Weave Veil vale and then pass his turn. Or sorry, not Weave Veil. Vale, the deadly performance. Tim got the first, when well, his, his first turn, he did get Weave Veil vale because those troops were in his back line. Moves a two man bike squad up, fires two. Dealing two damage to the Star Weaver and firing and fading to get behind enemy lines. Troops charge his home objective to clear it, get his full deadly points, and charges the troop master into the bike solitaire who did survive and then counter counterattack, turning off the invults and killing the troop master. But he also charged the another five man troop master into Mike's outside objective and put him down to a four on his first turn. Brad Chester versus Olive Smith. Secondaries, Brad went banners, prisoners, and decisive. Oliver went relentless assault, banners, and kill units from reserve. I guess that's what it's called now. <laughs> Oliver's reserve had two, a pod with two devs in it and eight-man setting guard. Brad reserved one crisis squad. Brad goes first to put up two banners, and Oliver's bomber was killed. That is your update right now. Back to the main game, and we'll be back later.
Okay, folks, listen, we're back. This is this this has been some pretty intense games. There's mm. we're getting even more and more updates as things go by. We can see the tables from here. Yeah. Um, I would just watch the Sun Shark Bomber go down on Brad. I, I I've, I'm seeing Nick has been hemmed into his corner already, mm. so he's sweating really hard into this Siriani game. Before we get any further, there was two people who subscribed while oh, Dustin yes. was popping off, and thank you very much to both of you. I don't didn't catch your names. Unfortunately. One I believe was Katuska. Katuska, and, and I do uh, not remember the other. the other one, but it was two words, definitely two words. It's definitely it was more than words. once. Guys, we're really sorry. We're <laughs> we're four rounds deep, seven rounds deep on this whole thing. We do want to say we really appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. Thank we you couldn't so do it without so you. Much. And uh, yeah, look, this shooting phase is pretty. I, I don't think it's going to accomplish a lot. The board position from uh, from uh, Alex is really intimidating. Yes, uh, it's really intimidating. Yeah, Alex has right posted now. up very well. Um, we're still doing the movement phase for Evans. We didn't miss a whole lot. We're seeing he's kind of screening out some area to avoid uh, mm -hmm. having a Ravener death happen. Mm -hmm. um, also keeping that that hive tyrant um, honest. Well, another another big deal here that we haven't pointed out is this is tower step, not far sight. Yes. So th that minus one to hit from the venom throats is really impactful. Here. Really, yeah. really yeah. impactful. Uh, far sight is often the more common list you're going mm -hmm. to see, uh, but. You, you lose out on things like long strike by taking yep, it. Yep. Uh, long strike being in that backfield well, is a big bonus. Um, Evan's taken the full complement of Tau characters. He's got Arnvar, long strike, and he's got Shadow Sun. Yeah, so, so like he, he's gone all to his in game plan. on his really on his shooting game um, at this at the like sacrifice of, of the close range game, mm -hmm. which is what Farsight tends to do a little so bit better. So an interesting predicament for Evan is that if he doesn't clear the middle, I don't believe he has the ability to clear the middle objective. He has to clear the bottom right hand objective. Mm -hmm. um, if he doesn't clear that, he's just giving up a twelve. And that, that could already be game losing in a game that I yeah. believe is going to be really tight. And I believe um, his current plan is to have those crisis suits uh, um, and the and the Sunshark Bomber plus everything else try to at least kill the, um, I believe it's four Raveners that are in the bottom yep. right-hand corner. Yep. Um, because if he can do that, all that's left are Gargoyles and a Sporocyst. It's yep. a little bit easier to deal with. Yeah. So those four Raveners in the bottom right? I believe it's a four or five man unit mm. uh, that are in that ruin, as far as I've been told. Wow, uh, fantastic! Yeah, they have to go. They can't. They can't stay there. They have so, how, how much? Th they move what? Is it twelve? I, I believe they move ten. They move we'll 10. have to be correct. But it's Kraken, so they auto advance eight mm -hmm. if they want, and then they can advance and charge. So mm -hmm. It's thir a thirty inch threat range. It's really quite terrifying. Yeah. I'm gonna go double check on that because I know um, Alex did put f uh, four of them in reserve, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I believe I heard that uh, Devin's plan was to go over there and kill Raveners. We heard yeah. it overheard him. He said now he may have also just oh, uh, mis no, misspoke. No, I believe it's because the Raveners are the, the unit he can see in the middle. That uh, are well if he goes over there, there, then he gets yeah, the thought, angle thought, over the crates. Yes. Yeah, over the crates into the Raveners that are hanging out at the back between the two Flyrens. Mm -hmm. I think it's only guy goes to the bottom right. But go have a look for us, brother. We're going to go to a bit of table audio. Okay. Diffie, you are absolutely correct. We have discovered that my usual cadence and decibels is uh, just a lot of information we don't want to give the players, unfortunately. So yeah, we're going to be talking real quiet like. I'll just have to do, some, do it with somebody later. Uh, it's six this year. I could run long strike over, but then I'm kind of getting closer. Too messy. We're not going to bother. I guess I could have the long strikes drones do it because the unit can do it, even though the drones can't. So if long strike drones come here, can I get coherency? No, not happening. I'll go for it next turn. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll have our buffs up for next turn if need be. Within 12, within 12. Mm -hmm. And the squad is just going to run over there and do nothing. Yeah. But They're doing the action, aren't they? Uh, the character is. Oh, it can be character? Yeah, it can be character. So just infantry. Yep. Um, I'll just roll in advance for them. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Cool. So let's say back eye 13. He's you know, uh, really tucked in there. Fucking the white noise. Yeah, he does. 
Cool. Uh, after two, two yeah, days, of after two days of uh, That's kind sitting of a long in this charge, you drones. Are like all I hear is ringing, and all I smell is sweat. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I have reminiscent of some uh, drunken moments at uh, film festivals in my teens, yeah. where I go to work the next day and the next week, and just be like, "Huh, what? Couldn't hear a thing." Yeah. So d doing this with a bit of the whisper that we have is actually also a little unnerving because we have noise canceling headphones on. Yes. And we're talking very quiet, so I don't know what I'm actually saying, everyone. I apologize in advance if I make fun of any of you, <laughs> if I <laughs> say anything untoward. He's not sorry. I, I, I really don't know. But yeah, so I got to take uh, took a chance to take a look at where things are placed because of some of these hidden uh, units and, ru and ruins. So yes, yeah, so we do have the five raveners in the middle, like you described. Yeah. Um, uh, also in there uh, is a unit of Tyrant Guard. The Parasite of Mortrex is in there. Um, and uh, the Tyranid Warriors and the Hive Tyrant. Um, in the back, he does have all his Neurothropes. I believe the six, uh, the, sorry, yeah. the six um, Zoanthropes, I meant yeah. to say. And the Neurothrope uh, are in the top right. It's a shooting phase. Um, we should check this out. Okay, let's cut to the shooting phase. We talked about. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just chapter mastered, trying to blow up that, those guys. Um, cool. This is a crazy play. <laughs> what a start. Uh, long strike. Uh, my one marker like my one marker can't see, so we don't have markers this turn. Uh, one Maybe. shot. Yep. On a three. Hits. Wounds. Yep. Uh, you take. You die. Yep. Cool. Uh, let's do the. Cr oh, I'm sorry. I obviously start with the fire and fade as we mm -hmm. discussed. Yeah. So you're down to one CP. Uh, yes. I'm down to just toss me one. Yep. Uh, threes reroll ones. Roll. Uh, four roll ones. Marker left? Oh, no, you've got. And I ignore the modifier. Okay, yeah. yep. I'll use the free roll here. Cool. And uh, T4 or T5? T5. Threes. Uh, just three, please. Okay. AP? Uh, AP4. Okay. Flat three. Okay. Um, that's all I got there. Yep. Uh, this dude, I don't think he could see anything with his incredibly long move. So he's probably. I guess I can show it a garbage shot. Is this a guy? Oh, that's a character. Yep. Can't see anything else anymore. Cool. I could shoot some garbage into there. Can't see these Wait, dudes. Flat three? Flat three on the plasmas. With one wound. I did terrible math. Oh, they're four each? Yeah. Oh, strong. Cool. Uh, I'll just shoot a missile pot of that guy then. Good. At this guy? Yes. Uh, all my other guns are out of range except for my air burst, which uh, if I shoot these guys, they grow back onto my objective, which is already your objective. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't actually matter. Um, I guess I just pop these spore mines because they're going to come mortal me. So, missile pods, two hits, two wounds. Yep. AP? Sorry. Uh, AP two damage, too. Okay. Okay. Both go through. Nice. Uh, guy and the guy carries yeah. Sansa, too. Uh, air burst over here. Yeah. Strong one. <laughs> um, I actually don't want to get eaten by six spore mines, which could just blow him up, kind of. A little uh, bit. Oh, and that. Well, they might not make it. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a decent roll to get there. Well, the whole point of this move block is not dying in the movement phase. So, <laughs> well, okay, it's, it's a 10, right? Or more than 10, so you can't even get there. I can get there. You move six. They right? move four plus an advance. I'm going to have to be within three inches. Oh, okay. So you, if we're, I assume you're basic on the wall. Yeah. So 11 inches. So you would need a. A four. A four? Yeah. I don't love that. Um, you don't hear okay. That. Uh, I'm gonna just be an idiot and CP that for no reason until it wasn't <laughs> strong. Of course. I hit you on a three, I reroll for free. Yep. I wound you on a three, so I kill a spore mine. Uh, AP? Or I guess a six up armor. Okay. Nice. Good job. Strong. Really good start. Okay. Um, all right, and we got the airburst over there. Five shots, please. Five number of shots, rather. This uh, is airburst to here? Uh, those airbursts are into there. Oh, okay. Trying to kill those guys. Uh, 12 plus five. Okay. It's 17. I'll see the shots. So it begins. <sighs> so chapter mastered, but hitting on fives. Okay. Are they minus for advancing or anything? Uh, just minus for the ballistic thing. For not being able to see them? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I guess they, well, minus the sixes. Oh, shit, you're right. All right, that was kind of a misplay on my part. There's definitely a way in which that didn't happen in that. But I it's totally fine. I didn't even think about it until right now. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, cool. One. Okay. Damage. Oh, I got a wounding, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And I got to reroll my hits, too. 
Oh yeah, right, you said chapter master. There you go. Finally. Cool. It's got sweet. Uh fours, threes. I don't know how strong it is. Threes, strength four, use a reroll. So okay. four. Uh minus one, so sixes, I guess. Um I have three in cover. Do uh, they just ignore cover? Three of them do. It's fine. You can I'll take. do one ignores cover and two that Perfect. So uh, I'll do those four total. So four. fives. I'll f there you go. That's terrible. Cool. Sweet. Nice. Uh, you have one left, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's something. Yeah. <laughs> well, that didn't exactly go how I planned it, um, but that's fine. That's my turn. Yeah. Over to you, bud. Okay. Uh, Pretty slow first turn here for Evan. I mean, he did talk it through a lot of the maneuvers, mm -hmm. of which when you're up against someone like Alex McDougall, who is like a perennial top tier mid player, yeah, yeah. Um, really gets you in that position where you have to think everything through Agreed. in a game like this. And your round one is always going to be a round where you have some padding to do something yeah. like that before yeah. chaos ensues. Um, he did manage to kill most of the spore mines at the top of the game, yeah, uh, top left. of the field. The big thing was blowing up the sporosis with long great. strike. Really that big deal there. Really opens up a lot of um, movement options for Evan in future rounds. If he hadn't done that, um, I think he'd be kind of stuck in his mm -hmm. in his corner for the rest of the game, or at least for another two rounds, right? Agreed. I do. I, I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at the way he's placed his crude hounds, and I maybe if he's done this right, they're placed perfectly so that that flyer can't jump them. No, I, I believe that was the plan. Uh, agreed. And uh, I was just looking at that because I was looking at, like, wow, that long strike is in just Reaper range, mm -hmm. but that Reaper has to roll a big advance if he wants to get over yeah. there, I believe, now. So the Spore Mines got into the commander here at yep. the bottom of the screen by the looks of things. There were spore five, I believe, Spore Mines inside yep. that ruin. Six. Six from the Spore, uh, from the spore Assist. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So five yep. wounds into the commander. Commander's still alive. Yeah, one wound left. Uh, I believe is one wing left on that commander. Are, are they six? Are they six or seven? It might be seven. Um, uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's very close to death. In fact, he's he's probably killable by the gargoyles. Yeah. But I know he wants to kill it in combat. He for does. The cranial feasting. He wants cranial feasting. That's the thing. Like six. That's, this is what I don't get because the crude hands are out there to block the reaper charge, but the the commander is just the reaper charge instead. Because um, the reaper the reaper flyer, the one we're sitting in the fr in the front of the table, um, is just gonna. It's just going to go eat him, mm -hmm. bounce back with overrun, and then um, you know, we're in a lot of trouble. We're going to see a, a bit of measurement coming here from Alex. Um, and all the, all the crew towns are there to stop the flyer. Can he stop the the big Ravener move? I think he's lost two from that unit. I don't know if that is the four <laughs> or the five man. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be pretty... Oh, we just had some big news. Uh, the game has already we finished about 15 minutes in, yep. and we're going to get well, an update. This is the thing about the Shadow Round. Players don't need to play to conclusion. If it's already overwhelming which you, which art, which, which player is going to win, mm -hmm. there's really no point playing it out. Put yeah, yourself. So some of these it. guys do want to just go yeah. home and get yeah. some rest. If there's no coming back, there's no there's no use playing for points. It's just knockout yeah. from this point on. So let's go to Dustin and hear what went down. All right, here we are, Dustin. You, you're up. Hello, everybody. I do have a very quick update for you because one of our games is over. So we have. TJ versus Harvester game. TJ stayed in his corner in turn one and killed off the Death Company screen with Cultists of Flame. And Jack, turn two, dropped and stayed back in his castle and put his characters in the back corner. Both players doing the math. And Jack can win by just running a primary and TJ couldn't catch him on primary. And if Jack didn't interact with TJ, TJ can't get secondaries. The game was talked out and it was decided that Jack did win that game. He is going to be moving on to the finals. There's your update. Back to the main, the main game. Wow, so there is always the, when you play a really defensive, passive game, ja I mean, well, like I said, it happened, Jack just sat behind the infiltrators. And I was what you and I both mentioned, mm -hmm. right? Because of the infiltrators, because of the way the Death Company play, and because of how TJ often loves to do that kind of mm -hmm. backup, mm -hmm. uh, and like that's his like his his core mentality when he plays. Um, because Jack's list is a little bit different than most Blood most Angels Blood lists. Angels. It's not the Anger Bunga full send Blood Angels. He it's can the score. It's the Thinking Man's Blood Angels. And he can score eight on secondary every turn by doing basically, basically nothing. nothing. Well, he got one 12th, mm -hmm. and then just backed up, scored eight, and realized, yeah, you yep. can't catch me Inle unless I give you things to kill. Can't catch me, mate. Yeah. So that uh, like it, it was kind of an expectation, um, and TJ does do, does love to play that defensive game. He does. He <laughs> loves it. Well, Jack as well, and man, I think Jack going first just cracked it. Just yep. cracked it for him. That was just a go first yeah, game. Go first game. In, in the end. Well, uh, once once then. Only because TJ was passive. Yeah, if TJ, TJ played TJ very aggressive. In hindsight, TJ just needed to send it. Yeah, he would have just a better. He would just actually had to play a game because Jack was like, "Well, I got a 12, and now I'm standing oh, in my deployment zone behind infiltrators. 
Yeah. See you later. Can't and wait. I'm just going to max Shock yeah. Tactics. Just I'm going to max. Yep. Probably max Fury of the Last, and yep. that'll be the game. Yeah, and that's absolutely it. They gave it that nice little cover. Oh, and they the did have a cover. Uh, really nice. I missed. think. I think playing in. No, I think. I think playing in the Shadow Round um, means something to people. To yeah. Players. Meeting in the Shadow Round is a pretty special place to play a game, I think. Let us have... Do you see what has happened? Yes, the you back hive tyrant the back made the jump. Tyrant has made the big yeet. I'm assuming they both rolled advances. Yes. And the one that made the big advance, he moved. Yeah. He moved out. We're seeing either the Zoanthropes come out as well on the right-hand side. They're probably lining up a smite either into the Crude Hounds or into the Command. I don't know which one he's made close, but it's probably the Crude Hounds from this, from this angle, I think. Looking at this angle, I believe it's the Crude Hounds. We'll find out in a second. Mm. Um... But yeah, that's a, that's great because it's going to so give him the option, like so no shenanigans happen, and he can't jump away. Yeah. So the fear that I the fear that I have here for Evan is if so he can't he can't take the middle objectives. The Tau mm -hmm. army cannot take the middle objective without getting absolutely eaten. So as long as Alex can maintain supremacy on the bottom right, he can't lose the primary. Yeah. He's just going to win the primary. So anything that comes across the middle line onto the bottom right. He's going to have a response force four. The other th issue he has is that if he's able to clear the top left, he gives Evan a four. Mm -hmm. And then if he's, he just got a 12, Evan gets a four, that could already be enough to crack the game. Yeah. Ah, so he wasn't, he wasn't moving the flight. Oh, he was uh, just no, seeing no. if he could place. No, you know what uh, just happened? Alex um, just let him have a take back. Alex gave him a take back. Oh, wow. And that's like really Beautiful. good sportsmanship. Wow. Alex moved up placed his unit and then Evan said that that was his whole point of putting the crew towns yeah, there was so that, that couldn't happen yep. um, and then Alex so could have been Alex well, could have just been like well you didn't too do sad, it so bad game is but over but instead he said you know what no. I get what you were trying to do I see it now That's go it. right ahead That's like, top table top table stuff top right there. table sportsmanship here uh, because that would have been back breaking that would have been like game's a over. massive game, loss game's over like li literally so he, ch he, ch he tags long strike yeah and then he eats the whole crisis unit and and it's over. And uh, it's it's absolutely over. So this is, like, I love this. I can't. I can't. I don't know I how to express how this, much I love this. This is the kind of stuff we want to bring to you. We want yeah. to show you the top level of the game played with absolute respect for each for each opponent yeah. and played like gentlemen, yeah. but played like savages. And so now we know what's going to happen is as soon as we cut to the mics, Alex is just going to be swearing cursing a lot. Just and gonna he's going to be cursing, cursing out Evan, <laughs> calling him an idiot. <laughs> Because um, that's just what, how things go, that's guys. Just, that's, that's the, but no, uh, Alex is Canadian. He's not allowed to do that. No. We we kick him out. So yeah, I, I would take him though. He'd become he'd lose <laughs> his Canadian citizenship. I would hand him an Australian. We passport shaved his head a charity hammer, and he never grew his hair back. Did you know that? Yeah, I do. never he, once. You know why? <laughs> because it didn't grow back. There's nothing to grow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that soil is desolate. <laughs> so how about we cut to the player audio for a little bit here and just hear what's going through Alex uh, now that he just hasn't made that move. It's not going well, bud. So I'm going to change, because I was thinking I was going to have to burn through them, but now that they've moved back, I'm just going to do this. I'm cool. going to get a clean shot there. Yeah. Yeah, now it's um, going Why is that commander there? Why? Then you simply do <coughs> shots through here. You just fall back and shoot. Is there any penalty? Uh, not with the buff. Okay. Yeah. Turn three, four, five. I get. You guys are just dead anyway. At minus one. Okay. These guys will also get reroll ones to hit off the other tyrant. Sure. How is that game over already? Okay, I'm not going to put that there yet because it's about to get really challenging otherwise. No worries. The crew don't get to use the strat, do they? No. <laughs> okay. Just <laughs> so so my charge have, down. Like, a four inch charge? Yeah, something like that. Sweet. gonna throw them in. So 
we're gonna throw her in. Does she fit? She probably doesn't. Yeah, I don't think so. Nah, I want to tell. Okay. Looks like there's room for one model in the bottom one. Yeah, so. that's all it is. Cool. Uh, and then you're here. Good. Yeah, that was the positioning from Somewhere before. Little. Then we'll do nerve, or these guys will just advance. Uh, you're just gonna come over and start slamming. Spock and Zed, thank you very much, mate. You are who we do, we are doing this for. Yep. Only tears. people in New Zealand. Uh, just, you know, just, just literally people named Spock in New Zealand. Yep. But thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure and honor to bring you these games and. Jeez, like what games we've had. Oh, what amazing games what? this entire time. Three more. Three more to come. It's Three more to, to come. And just like the best players yeah. that I made it to this top 15, ridiculous. top 16. Except for, yeah. players, Except for the tap players. Except for the tap players, they're all awful. Yeah. No, they're terrible. Especially Bradchester. Yeah, Look at that guy. sucks. Yeah, he's, he's, wearing right a, he's wearing a suit jacket right he's trying to out. He's trying to outdress me. He's trying to outdress you. It's not you possible. Of all people. possible, mate. You seen this shirt? It's got little bugs on it. It's got, they're very tiny bugs. They're mitochondria. They're the powerhouse of the cell. This cell being the commentary team. Yeah, I like what you did there. Yeah, it's great. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. No worries. Yeah, I'm, I like what I'm, you did I'm there. here all day or all night, as it turns out. <laughs> I've already gone down again. Oh, I just gave one on my turn, too. Yeah, I just yeah, didn't for sure. there, yeah. So, Warp Ritual goes off. Cool. And then we'll do uh, Onslaught through the chain. That will still go off on a six, because it's plus one from the narrow throat. Sure. And then we've got. What do we do? What do we make annoying? What do we make annoying? Well, I mean, I make everything annoying. <laughs> so what do you think those Neurothropes are doing here that he's p that he's positioned down? He's got them lined up to take the last two, two wounds off the Doesn't matter what they roll. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. He's got the ra he's got the Ravenous. And then we the will smite the character. He's, he's really picking yeah, up all the little nice stuff. Way. He wants to pick up the little stuff, so he has to make I'll go off on an eight and, and minimum units four. that matter. Mm -hmm. He has to put crisis suits on objectives. He has to put long strike on objectives. Yep, there goes the the boss. Commander's gone. Commander. Tropes there. <laughs> yeah, they're way faster that than people was, expect. Yeah. If I didn't mm -hmm. really want to make yeah. this, I could have burned no, this. I, 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 that was a mistake by Evan. Evan, to be. Evan was mistake. trying to do some, some kind of move block scenario. Yeah. Um, he didn't account for how hard it would be to clear the spore mm -hmm. mines in that bottom right ruin. Yep. And then, yeah, the Neurothropes, they've got yep. a massive movement and they fly. Yeah, the Zoanthropes, they can advance. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say Neurothropes for the rest of the night. Guys, I just want you to know. Shooting face, let's see what happens. One's going through dense, and the others are fine, probably. Yeah. Uh, this guy's probably fine. Two that are fine. Yeah. So we'll do the six to start. We're rolling ones. Nice. Sweet. Uh, threes, probably. Pick them up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. And I guess we'll do one death spitter here, cool. and then the rest will go here. Sure. Yep. So the one death spitter, two is rolling ones. It's cocked. They're rolling ones, and then threes. Two death on these guys. Yep. Cool. Okay. And then we'll do. Venom cannon, how many, sh or no, sorry, Death Bear into there. Mm -hmm. All hit. Nice. And Five. three wounds. Three. Uh, what's AP? Minus two. It's the same profile, right? Yep. Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 5 2 1. And then the Venom one. cannon will be the very last shot, which is Sweet. I also call doing there. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Uh, I'm going to take it on three damage, you said? Three wounds? Yeah. Take them on the shield wounds. Cool. Nice. Uh, Venom cannons. Two shots. Two hits. Uh, looks like two wounds. One wound. Four up. Good to go. Cool. Uh, assault phase. So we'll charge here. Yep. There looks like four. I doubt you're going to fill it and you can reroll it. Yep. Cool. Nine. Okay. I'm gonna, I can bump you in if you want. Yeah. We'll just do that. That. Yeah. Should be an inch yeah. for what it's worth. So you're yep. just going to come on in there. No worries. And then these guys will charge. Speed. 
into the croutons, I assumed. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Start here. Yep. Let's pile you in and say you're engaged with everyone. Sweet. Assume you're gonna. Uh, you might not pick up the squad. No, not necessarily. Yeah. I'll hit. Sweet. T3. Two's the real only ones. And then these little cheats, obviously. You're strength five? Strength seven. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so the squad? Yeah. Four, eight. Uh, nope. One, two more? Yeah. One alive. Now, I just need to make sure that I'm not about to get burnt there. Uh, yeah. How many models do you have on? Shadow Slam, not the drone, so you're not going to get burnt. Uh, I guess you would get burnt there. How many models do you have? Uh, these three. You should be touching as we talk Who's about. this dude? The one guy left. Oh, okay, okay. There's just yeah. a huge gap there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, then it would be three to three, and that'll cancel your yeah. control. So yeah, not burnt. I'm not even going to spend two CB to auto-pass, so you are probably yeah, run away that's anyway. True. This is a massive play for Alec here, making that long to give you advance on the Tyrannic huge. Warriors uh, uh, to be able to yeah. get this charge off. What yeah, this does, matter. guys, in case yeah. you're unaware, which it, it, it's pretty yeah. obvious now, um, he has by killing off the breachers on that on that uh, that objective, he's stolen it from Evan, yeah. and so Evan's going to have a zero on primary yeah. for his second turn. Alex is going to get max the three points on uh, direct assault for the, the bonus, so he's going to yeah. he's going to get fifteen points on his primary this turn. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, it's a massive, massive zero for Evan. Wow, it, it might just be done already. Yeah, at this point, like Evan, Evan is going to have to really put in everything with these crisis suits to to, to pull the weight. I'm of the opinion Evan needs to table you. Yeah, because I think and Alex needs to table him in like two turns. Next two turns, two turns, there needs to be no more nits, and I'm not sure it can be done. All right, using our modifiers. Yeah. Oh, I'm Evan's got to have to focus right. down these oh, Raveners. Okay. He's got to kill those yeah. Yeah. warriors. Yeah. He's got to crack the Tyrant Guard so he can kill the kill the, the Hive Tyrants. There's so much room to do. Well done, Alex. I think you've already put Evan into a losing position. Losing everything. Tau has a lot of plays. I mean, he's still got, what, 10, 12 ten, crisis ten, suits on the board. 10 crisis suits, one commander, a long strike, Shadow Sun. Shadow Sun. He's got a lot he's of, got a lot two of shooting, and he's got, got two, two sun bombers that are come back on next yeah. turn. Yeah. So uh, it's important to note this is sticky objective mission, but the top left was not sticky because the crew hounds were not obsec, mm -hmm. whereas the gargoyles in the bottom right are obsec. And now there's like, what does he do? This board state is just really hard to solve. I'm yeah. not sure if you guys are um, listening to what well, the player is saying when I said it. But yeah, I'm like, uh, Joseph, please guys, if one. you're at home, do not throw away commanders for no reason. <laughs> um, so, like, really good advice uh, for anybody pl that wants to start Tau. Yes. Don't just Don't. let your commander Don't. die for yeah. absolutely yeah. nothing. People complain about my Talon losses, and Cross's commanders make them look like punks. Yeah. They're terrifying. Well, your Talon masters are garbage, too. Shut I up. hate them. Yeah. They're overpowered. Yeah. You're yeah. overpowered. You, you can... You can you yeah. Okay, we're going to cut to sponsors here for a moment, guys. Thank you so much for following up. We'll be back in a second. <laughs> Alkylabs.com Matalus.com Play with magic. Frontline Gaming, Champions of Tabletop. Best Coast Pairings, Competitive Events Made Easier. The Army Painter, more time for gaming. Live game scores are powered by the Tabletop Battles app, available now on Android and coming soon to iOS. Okay, guys, we're back. Thank you for taking the time to listen to that sponsor. We might cut the sponsor reels every now and then with this because it's uh, because there's a shadow round and this game is moving yeah. crazy. Um, I don't know if you overheard uh, during the sponsor reel. Evan is already considering conceding the game because he's not sure how he can make the comeback on points. Um, I believe this is going to be his turn. Well, he's yes. and he's. At this point, he's trying to figure out how many secondaries Alex Correct. is going to get um, if he doesn't table him. And I think that'll be the that's difference uh, to see if Evan continues on with, with what he's doing. With sticky objectives and only one unit of obsec left for the tower, it's just going to be really hard to get any primary points. So he just needs to work muted. out how many how many points he's going to get on secondaries because that's all he, that matters. He's muted. He needs to max, he needs to max the secondary. Un 
hit it again you're barely you can barely hear you okay beautiful so evan was sitting there trying to figure out how many secondary points he's going to score versus how many alex is going to score because his primary is shot and evan's primary is going to stay shot until possibly the bottom of turn five yeah so this is a really rough spot that, <laughs> that Alex has put him in. What he needs to do is essentially nuke Alex's secondaries. But the issue is, you gotta you got to stop Banners. you got to stop Warp Ritual. I don't know yep. how he does that from this position. Yep. Um, because Banners involves being on objectives and taking things down. He can't really do that without getting eaten alive. I think Evan's screwed, but... I really do think that ma massive charge, uh, massive advance by those yeah. Tyranid Warriors really sealed it. Kraken gonna Kraken, man. Uh, he, he just used the Kraken auto aid advance and just... Unga bunga straight into that Unga bottom bunga. left. So, uh, guys, I, I, see, I think I saw a question if the game finished earlier. Are we going to stick around? Listen, this is a very important round. We're here yeah. for the long shot. Uh, I'm, we're going to do our best. Even if this game ends quickly, we still have Dustin in the field. Adam and I can take to the field, and we'll, we try, we'll do our best to provide you updates right until the we end. We have some of the best cameramen in the business with some of the best cameras money can buy. We will, get, we will zoom in on whatever <laughs> freaking table, and me, and me and him will cast. We'll just stand right beside Brad yeah. Chester and, yeah. and yeah. drink and his wine him. so he can't. Yeah. Um, Wake his uh, partner up who's sleeping on the table next to him. <laughs> yeah, they're so tired. Uh, um, let's see. Well. Hey, Dustin. Do you have an update, buddy? Yikes. Evan, Evan is coming to the realization he needs to go absolutely ham, and I do not know how he does go ham. Well, Evan, so it needs to be pointed out to Evan these are, these are sticky objectives. Evan, Evan knows it's stinky. Yeah. He just mentioned it. Yeah. Um, I don't think uh, because he was trying to figure out if he killed how many gargoyles we'd have to kill mm -hmm. and then hop onto the objective. Um, and then the the thing was was he was worried that if he didn't kill them all and and um, uh, Alex rezzed any, the game would be an issue. Yeah. Um, and then reminded himself, oh, it's sticky objective. And can't Alex even brought it up because he did because he yeah. it's how it screwed him over last year. Yeah, can't, so. can't take it away anyway. And I suppose that was the point of the Ravenna charge. The Ravenna's yeah. are going to hold hold the crisis suits there. They can't swing around. Take, uh, they, take they'd have to back. like if they'd have to fall back to do it, and then they're not doing anything else, exactly right? right. Exactly. And then the Raveners have yeah. free reign. Mm -hmm. So I think he's going to try a hell mary with these bombers. These bombers just need to hit everything, wound everything, kill everything. Yeah. And then it might be a game. roll super hot on his mortals. Mm -hmm. Pick up something good then that crisis suit on the left can come in do some some kind of cleanup mm -hmm. uh, at least clear, kill the tyrant guard and the venom ropes in there maybe yep. Yep. Uh, gives him a chance absolutely but it's gives not a, a big one yeah okay. that's going to be really hard okay, for guys, me. We, got an update from dustin. we have an update from dustin on the games unfolding we're going to switch over to him and see how the field is progressing I do have a few little updates for you right now the bat versus mad game has been very cagey they are now on turn three and nothing has happened they're both sitting in their own deployment zones and we're going to see exactly what's going to unfold in the next couple turns because somebody's going to have to make a zoom or move soon in order for this game to actually get some points scored nick versus ben the bloodthirster did go up and just hit a few of the rangers with this flamer walked into some war walkers and only killed one of them in close combat but did tie them up so hopefully he'll be able to do something else with them soon we're going to see what ben can do on his turn too as well tim versus mike it is dead even but tim does have bottom turn mike is not feeling confident because of that the game is going to be very even for a very long time we're going to see what happens there and then Brad Chester versus Olive Smith. Crisis Suits did pick up Sangard, still one on the table and one in reserve, and Oliver puts the Sangard back into, into reserve. And that is your update for now. Back to the live game. We back in the booth, Dickie, because we have a special guest who's just wandered over from the the wheeled <laughs> wilds of the mortal realms. Who who's, who are you, fine gentlemen? Well, welcome to the show. Are we on? Are we live now? We are yeah, live. We're looking into that. My name is right Paul there. Murphy. Thank you for having me. The, the Paul Murphy. Uh, the, this is the Shadow Round. This is very important for the Las Vegas Open. It is. This is. And this is, oh my lord, it's so nice to have him here. This is the guy who taught me most of what I know about this game. Oh, you're very kind, thank you. This game. Also about dress code as well. <laughs> I went out of my way and bought some nice shirts in order to uh, to uh, try and try and emulate the fine the finery. This is the Thursday show right here, and we're very grateful to bring it to you. Um, the game of this is right now, mate. We got Evan um, Thompson, a top four player. Why are we whispering? Year, so they can't hear us. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, okay. Good, 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 <laughs> good call. Yeah, good call. <laughs> so Alex McDougall was knocked out on this mission last year. I, I can't remember if it was by Evan Thompson, but it was it was by the, one of the Custodes players. Evan was one of the Custodes players, finished top four. 
Alex is enacting his revenge right now. He's done, he's, he's done his damnedest to give Evan a zero on primary last turn, and he's just consolidating his hold on this game. It's really, really cool. How would the AOS go? I, I, amazing. But I want to talk about Alex Medugal. Do you remember his run from last year? Yes, dude. Yes, it is. it was phenomenal. He was he was the giant slayer. Yeah, the fact he's in the position now. Mm. Because he, he knocked off Manny with yep. all the all the Drakari, all the racks and everything. He knocked that off. He got another big scalp. I can't remember which one it was, but the dude is turning into an LVO juggernaut. He's carving out his own legend of, as a kid. This is his Sean event, Naden. right? <laughs> exactly right. Sean, Sean Naden, by the way, cashed his check to the top eight. What? Yes, he did. He he, he came in number one, and there was with, with no like there was fifteen undefeated players, and because of that, top guy got the free pass, and the next fourteen had to play in the shadow round. So seven tables on for us right now and behind us, and one man got to sit out and put his feet up. Are Sean you feeling like it's, it's McDougal's run, though? Oh, dude, I want to see McDougal versus Naden. Okay. That's the final. Orcs versus Kraken mids. Just smashing it in the middle. I, like, nothing would be finer. There's a lot of Tau. There's four Tau players made the shadow round. Oh, four Tau four players. Four Tau players, man. Exciting. Mm. What's yeah. everybody up to tonight? Sorry? What is everyone up to tonight? Uh, tonight? Oh, jeez. You're looking at it, brother. Okay. Uh, after this, I'm just. Go- I've got. To- I've got. A- I've got a little bit of dinner waiting in the green room. I'm gonna head to the bar, kick back, put my feet up for a couple of minutes, talk some absolute crap, and then get my batteries recharged for this final day. I can't freaking wait, man. Uh, I'm very excited to be here with y'all. And also, the Sigmar stuff is amazing. Like all the the enthusiasm, the yeah. adrenaline, and that kind of stuff has been abs. Like you can you can feel it. You can taste yeah. it. It's in the air. The, the biggest 40k event of all time and the biggest Age of Sigma event all the time in the same room and the same day. Couldn't make this stuff up. What what faction won? Uh, no, it's it's still undecided. Oh really? Like, they yeah, got, yeah, they yeah. Got yeah, yeah, yeah the whole well. other day of competition to oh, play. Wow, wow. Yeah, so it's, you're not it, done either. Yeah, yeah. No, we're not done. No, no. It's, we have three games tomorrow. No rest. It's, it's going to be amazing. No rest. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to dip back out, but I just want to say hello. Thank you very much. For, you're doing Peace amazing. out, guys. You too, brother. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. Okay, back to the game, guys. We're going to take a little step back and hear from the players. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's oh, okay. I thought those guys were just like on when when they jack their uh, durability like that. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Um, I'm gonna just be as far away from you as humanly possible because you mm-hmm. scare me. Being as far as humanly possible actually doesn't ever get me out <laughs> of your threat range. It's fine. Whatever this is, can't make it better for me. Uh, long strike. We'll just prepare to blast them because once these guys are dead. You just probably shoot there too. Um, I guess I could see that hive guard because you're in the terrain. Mm-hmm. Okay. I could see that hive guard, so we have options still. Uh, Tyrant mm-hmm. guard, that guy? No. The okay. walls. It, the whole thing is line of sight blocking. I don't think the walls. This, infinitely this is the F where it's all blockout. It just means that there's no windows there. It's this is f- still a full wall, is it not? I don't oh. think so. Yeah. We can ask though. Yeah, for sure. Where the heck are our judges? Um, and I do have to kill all these things in my <laughs> area before table. I do this action. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a few little bits and pieces. I think if I catch what they're called, this, the this is this side. <laughs> it's going to be easier to see from this side. We're yeah, this wall down, is um, it's obscuring, right? No, in the it's building? Only, it's, no, it's, it's a question about the terrain to see if it's um, obscuring oh, or not. Okay. Um, do you want to talk about it? I'm happy to have you talk. Yeah, yeah. If I do that, it's out, right? You just go a little bit more. I've got the room. Yeah, yeah. No worries. I'm happy to Evan's trying to pull a trick here where if he can kill the Tyrant at Warriors off the back left objective. This guy? The blue vest? Oh, okay, we'll yeah, I see what you're asking. Because yep. as soon as I start cutting this angle. Uh, or sorry, yeah, Neurothrope and the remaining um, Zoanthrope uh, castle, and with the Biovores and everything else in there, he feels like he might have a shot to disrupt Alec. Yeah, to d- just just throw a spanner in the works and just mm-hmm. see what happens. Throw it against the wall, see what sticks. I really respect the hustle. Um, it, it, that was pretty much just asking which of those ruined walls was in fact obscuring. Yeah. Like, was it all of the ruined? Was it a little, the little bit on the on the edge of it? Was it just the bits that were actually five inches or taller? They had the ruling, and both players with good sportsmanship realized that Alex would have to, would have moved stuff differently. Yeah. That so Alex, he, and, he and this was just, if, just yeah. like the take back exactly. earlier. He acted. As if he he was under the impression it was all obscuring. Mm-hmm. He was corrected, and then everyone was like, "Yeah, just push him in further, mate. You got yeah. the movement." So yeah, good stuff, boys. 
but Alex was also nice enough to still leave room because of his mistake. So there exactly is room right. there if if, uh, if um, Evan can make it in with yeah. whatever so he's trying to So we're talking about the fact that there's a cold start commander who mm -hmm. can move up to 40 inches. Or is it 60 inches? I think it's 40 inches. Yes. Uh, so he can just yeet himself into that gap yep. and try and pick up a squad or two. Now, what that would do... No, I th so what I believe that was to do was to pick up three Tyrant Guard. Yeah. I think so. He picks up the Tyrant Guard, exposes that flyer to the bombers. The bombers pick that up and then, hey things get a little spicy. What I would like to point out is that one flyerant can make combat with both of those bombers right now because they're a bit too close together. I have to speak this very quietly just in case Alex can hear me. But yeah, right now, one flyerant can kill both those bombers. Can tag both at once, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that, that is a big bit of an oof and uh, I hope they, uh, they spread out a little bit <laughs> in hindsight. Uh, but yeah, still a lot of firepower and here. And given the way this game is played, I wouldn't be surprised if when Alec br brings it up, if he notices, mm. if he lets him move it back an inch or yeah. two to make as sure As long as it doesn't affect the lines of sight, they would have had. Yeah. It, uh, it's totally fine. And I don't think it would, to be honest. They can shoot from the wingtip, yeah. which I think is a little silly and always have in, yeah. this, in this edition, in the modern the modern areas of the yeah. game. You can you can shoot from a wingtip to someone else's wingtip and blow them up. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. You've got to play with the, the rules as I've written. And guys, we also were just speaking to the production team. Um, they're going to be setting up extra cameras um, on the edge of the stage so that we get better shots on all the other tables if this game does end early because uh, Adam and I both promised we're going to stick it to the end. Whatever the last game is, we're going to be here. Um, even exactly if it right. takes the full three hours, we're here for the long run. Spot on. Um, the In the Matt vs. Matt game just been asked by my good man um, Michael Hamilton, uh, it looks like the... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like the Flamers are doing a bit of a um, number on some crisis suits. And I, we do know that uh, the Lord of Change was heavily invested in by all the shooting from the tower, but it did not go down. So I think things are looking pretty okay for Solely. The fact that Big Bird is still there. Big Bird's still and there. The and the Stim Injector uh, crisis suit, which from is kind of the, 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 one, the linchpin of most of those mm -hmm. crisis units, is dead. Yep. So the rest of that crisis unit should fold uh, to anything yeah. concerted by Solely if he wants. Absolutely right. Just measuring out some lines of fire on our table to see what can do what. He wants to try and pick up as many of these medium bugs as he can. Yeah. And it, should he do that, he's going to force these um, flyers to essentially Voltron out and start to make big plays. The thing is, though, they can and they probably mm -hmm. will. <laughs> and one of the terrifying things is we talked about that Stim Injector. So what that is, that's an upgrade for the commander, uh, sorry, well, the, the sergeant of the yes. crisis suit unit. And it gives that a once per game, four plus invo uh, feel no pain. Mm -hmm. So extra save. So it'll have a four up armor save, two plus armor save, four plus uh, invulnerable save, four plus feel no pain. That's a save that you take after all other saves once per game. The Reaper of Obliterax ignores does all of it. not let you use that. <laughs> it just says, nope. It just says, oh, you have a defensive profile. The only one that matters is the T. Yeah, the, the, toughness, the one. toughness. The other numbers, who cares? So okay. the tower We're about to the shoot. Sh the shooting phase. This is the important thing that'll basically, I think, determine if Evan wants to continue this exactly game. Right. So let's it, see what happens. If he whiffs this, uh, they'll probably call it. So be right back. Everything just eats me, huh? Everything's hungry. Uh, they have to. They have to start anyway, because it's the only way that I can get the minus one off of those guys if I kill all of them. So it's a miracle, and they are going to. I don't think jumping is actually going to help me at all. So they're just going to hang out there. Okay. Uh, they they want to get. They're going to jump. I'll jump them after. I'll roll up the dice now, as yep. is per how this works. So I'm plus one minus one. Yep. I'm rerolling once. That's it. Okay. And that's from him. Excuse me. Yes. Is that a command phase? I oh, know it's an aura. Nine, nine is aura. Six plus <coughs> three for tau sept. Okay. <coughs> they were not in range during the, the command phase, which is I had to run them over. Okay. I'm joking on myself. Uh, Rerolling ones, two is a miss. Three hits. Okay. Uh, I'll use the reroll now. Cool. Strength eight, T six or not? T five. Yep. Sure. Oh, not like that. One, one. AP okay. four, five, three. Five plus invuln, because it's the invuln turn. Go through. Cool. Air burst? Uh, nope. This is, uh, cyclics. This is definitely the air burst squad. They have one air burst, but they also have plasma cyclic. Everybody's plasma cyclic. Okay. Yeah, so they were, they are the air burst squad, though. Okay. 100%. Uh, force, hero ones. And, uh, three? No rerolls. Uh, T5. Yeah, strength eight. So it's got oh, okay. Uh, spot, please. AB2 damage dues. Okay. And then five air bursts. Make one. Cool. 
Oh, you'd have gotten one? Oh, sorry. No, that's from your original damage. Oh, all right. I would just shoot the one damage first if you don't mind me trolling that real quick. Yeah, for sure. Let's get the last win off that guy. Uh, five. That's math is hard. 12, 14. Okay. Five, 10, 14. Mm -hmm. uh, fours. Zero ones. Let's try and get that wound off that guy. And uh, T5, you said? Yeah. So fives. Uh, just three, please. If you ones. Okay. Once I get the wound, yeah. cool. And then build four, so two more, so they're dead. Is that right? I honestly have no idea what we rolled before. I thought you give me four wounds. I thought you, yeah, I thought you. I have no idea what I rolled. I uh, thought you failed four, but you could. Okay. Maybe not. I um, we can, can we ask chat? Is that a thing? Is chat in? I, yeah. Uh, we'll kill him. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. That was my bad for changing the order on you two. Do you want to start fresh? Uh, See sure. what happens? Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay. I'll do that. I think that's probably just the best point at this point. Yeah, no worries. You had like five saves in energy? Yeah, and I don't know what I rolled. Yeah, let's just open this average and not crazy one way or another. Fatigue's yeah. a hell of a thing, guys. Uh, Fatigue's a hell of a thing. And I did not use my reroll. Oh, I did use my reroll on the plasmas. Yeah, you've already used your reroll. Yep. And then threes. Okay. Strength eight. Yep. So. Five saves again? Uh, six. Okay. Minus two for your again. Yep, just in bonds. Cool. Cool. So, yeah. Wait, I have rolled too many dice, doesn't matter. I filled a bajillion of them. Yeah, all right. Submission happened. They're going to jump six. Yep. We're going to live the dream here and shoot a plane into each type tyrant. <laughs> yep. Uh, into the wounded one first. Yep. Uh, big missiles. That's cocked, obviously. Mm -hmm. One hit. Uh, I'll use my free reroll now. Two hits. Mm -hmm. Two wounds, please. Okay. DB3. How much damage? 2d3 each. 2d3? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Cool. Uh, that was an over. We're gonna do another one. Yep. Uh, missiles. Three roll. One hit. Yep. Nothing. Okay. The rest of the shots. Last CP, does that seem like a good spend? <laughs> uh, and I've used a reroll already. Wounding on your T7, right? Mm -hmm. So threes. Four, please. Maybe two damage twos. Uh, I'm just, I just I, mean, I probably took a mortal or two. I'm so sorry. I, my brain is literally fried. What a roll toss. Just give me two mortals on each one. Yep. Uh, two. Three. So four damage. Yeah. Uh, two. And the missile. Nothing. Okay. Cool. So one swung hot and one did not swing at all. Um. They, I got a fire and frame them in a second. We'll shoot over here, crisis into these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, they're three wounds each, right? Yeah. So we'll start with a quick. Uh, free roll roll. Just two, please. Is this two. This guy? Yes. Okay. He turns off cover. Minus two damage, too. Okay. So sixes. This kills a guy. Good talk. Uh, flamer is garbage. Five plus two is seven. Uh, it's going to be on fives. Nothing. Cool. And he has a burst, which is eight, I believe. Yep. On twos. I use my reroll and I'm going to do on fours, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Three, please. Three. AP? I'm going to be strength six, in which case I have one more. I'll just double check that for you. Okay. Uh, it's AP one, by the way. Okay. Well, I got one then. Save then. Um, Single damage? Yeah, just one damage. Let's see if I make you take one more save. Sorry, so I added this gun in the midnight hour to mm -hmm. the list. Uh, it's minus, it's strength six, so it would be one more save. Sorry, I'll be winning on threes instead of fours. Cool, an extra wound. Uh, Shadow Sun, we're gonna shoot long strike into. It'd be a really shame if I don't kill all these guys, right? Um, long strike will shoot into this guy with his flamers, or his uh, melters. And he'll put his, this just has to go here. Well, actually, uh, Shadow Sun will put everything into this guy over here. Mm -hmm. One dude. So, Meltis, two hits, free reroll. That should just toast them unless you have a five bin one. Cool. Um, over here. Let's go ahead and put five, these are four onesies, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to overcharge, and these are also four ones, you told me this? Yeah. So annoying. 
Um, Longstrike's going to blast one of them. Start with that. Longstrike blasts them and puts the rest of his shots here. Mm -hmm. Hits. Give me one and three mortals. Hmm. And uh, garbage shots here. Oh, I'm sorry. He detached his drones. Well, those are his drones, so drones will mm -hmm. shoot you. They advanced, didn't they? They advanced to shoot. Okay. Uh, two hits, please. Two wounds, rather. I'm sorry. It's just AP zero on there. Okay. I don't know what your armor is. Cool. So done, done, done. Done, done, done. Just this last squad. Mm -hmm. It'd be a shame if these guys lived, right? They have a five one right now, or no? No. The whole army? It's just synapse. It's the guys that are in synapse, yeah. Got you, okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put all our cyclic here, because we'd be bad at this game if this squad lives. Mm -hmm. We'll throw uh, one burst and four plasma down there. Mm -hmm. And the other plasma here. So... No, oh, that's not great. Yeah, one burst. No, no, no. Sorry, quick mess. 15, hitting on uh, threes, we're rolling everything. Uh, T5, eight, three of armor. So far this four round up, has gone very armor. well for Evan, but the, he's just said it, the big thing right now is how much damage does he do to these gargoyles and these three raveners. Yeah. He needs to kill the three raveners. He honestly needs to kill the gargoyles too, but if he can at least murder most of them, he might, just might, be able to make a game of it because he does get into tabling range by doing that. Yeah, Killing that hive tyrant with the with just Huge. the two missiles, Huge. massive. Huge. Now that tyrant had taken a few wounds from uh, being bombed earlier. Yeah. Um, and it looked like he was just outside of the um, the tyrant guard range because yeah. of the the switch around that uh, that Alex did. It was the only reason why that was able to happen. Uh, so we did get a bit of a window here. Let's see how much stuff dies and see if Evan can turn this around. Yeah, AP zero. Yeah. Cool. I got four plasmas going to that squad still, so I'll just roll that now. Yep. Yeah. Rolling. Scotch. Cool. It's a miss and three more on them. Yeah. No, they're dead. They're dead. Yeah. Over here. Okay, uh, three is rolling. Scott. Uh, I'll just roll a two, I guess. Cool. All hit. Uh, threes. Uh, that many AP2 damage shoes? Is that a two? Sorry. That many AP2 damage shoes? Okay. That's two? Yeah. This many? Yes. Eleven. Good talk. Okay, um, I'm just gonna move them, and it's over to you, bro. Okay. Um, I can stop this from happening in the middle, yeah. and uh, so I got two banners. That's all I got. <coughs> so move front of my base six. Uh, no, because I'm still not good at this game. I guess no prisoners, but I don't know what that is. I think Evan's being a little too hard on himself for you know making uh, the shadow round yeah. two LVOs in a row and making it to the top four in one of them. Mm -hmm. um, but still, a great turn for Tao. It probably isn't enough to carry him in, into the win, but like he murdered so much uh, in that one turn. It shows you just how Dude, powerful Tao he can be. So much that turn. So you need a Ravenous, you need a Warriors, you need a you need a Tyrant Guard. Five tyrant units you know, don't throw. So he killed five units of relevant bugs. Um, Alex has one unit of ravenous to come in. I don't think there's a really a good place for them to arrive. Mm -hmm. I don't see what they're going to do when they get here. But in all honesty, if Alex just cops a, gets a couple eight primaries, he's just coastal. He's just going to carry it. It's this 45 through. to 12. It's 35 points in his advantage. Is he, if he's just able to just run out there and just give him another full on primary, it's, there's almost no point in playing it. Evan yeah. can table him and still lose. Yeah. At this point, like we said, Evan really needed to do it in two ra uh, two turns. Didn't quite do it. Oh, da day. Resub 75. 75 wow. months sub. Wow. Good job. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I think they were outlining that they went one and five today. And hopefully you had a great freaking turn, God, guys. I hope so. Absolutely amazing. Uh, <sighs> yeah, thank you so much for all the support in chat. You guys are absolute guys, legends. Guys, you guys are amazing. Man, I am just pumped. I am so pumped. I am still awake and I am pumped. Uh, what, what, what time is it here? Uh, uh, it's, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. Where uh, I am from, it is about to go 5 p.m. 
Yep. Th it's uh, it's 2 a.m. where I'm from. Um, Adam and I have been up since 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. just doing stuff, either for the <laughs> either for the feed or eating too much food. Um, but here we are. We're going to stick it around till the end. We want to make sure you guys get the best coverage you can mm -hmm. about the Shadow Round because it's it is like it's always been the secret round of the LVO, and it's great that we can bring this to you now. Agreed. <laughs> so this is an interesting thing. Um, it looks like we have Tyrant Guard alive in on the middle objective, and also mm -hmm. we have Tyrant Guard alive in the ruins. So how was he able to kill the uh, the flyer? So it must have been a positioning error by Alex that exposed him. Yeah. Yeah, it could only have been. The Florent is looking like he's going for the single charge on the bomber with a probably a big overrun to come. The Parasite of Mortrax is obsec, isn't he? I believe so. Yeah. So, the profile so due to uh, that, should he make it onto that objective? Uh, in combat. Oof. Mm -hmm. oof, oof, oof. We're going to update okay. from okay. Dustin. We're going to switch gonna to cut to him. Then hear more from the field. Okay. We'll be right back. And Hello, no everybody, and another quick update for you. There is the Matt versus Matt match right now. There is a game-changing move that just happened. The Strata moved it with both the Crute, split up a drone, and replenished the screen. The bombers came up in the backfield. The bird went out with minus one to hit. Three marker lights on, and the Riptide did eight after the robe, but Longstrike did kill the bird. Soli couldn't. CP reroll because you saved that last CP for Overwatch, so the bird is dead. I see you, Paul. I see you. You have way too much energy for this time of the day right now. I am very impressed. <laughs> Nick versus Ben. One letter squad was cleared in the middle, and a few wounds were put on the Bloodthirster, but the Scarbrand and the other Flamer squad have come down with Fate Weaver, and they cleared the they cleared the Incarn and a Farseer, and they've killed more of the DK, and it's taken over the board now. It is looking a little more rough for Ben. We're going to see what he does on his turn four now, but he has lost a lot of models. Tim versus Mike. I don't know what to tell you. It's Harlequins versus Harlequins, guys. It's, it's the exact same score. They, they, they're doing point for point right now. I can't. I, I got nothing. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I'm sorry. Brad Jester versus Olive. They are they're just staring at each other from each side of the board. This this is a shadow round, guys. This is what you wanted to hear about. This is what you're hearing about. These are guys staring at each other from a corner. No points have been scored outside of each other. It's turned three now, and they have just looked at each other all game. I think Brad's wife. Yep, she's asleep. That's that's right. <laughs> So, back to the live game, guys. So, the only thing I would contest there is I'm, I'm looking at Brad Chester's table, literally off to the left of me, mm -hmm. and uh, the only thing I'll make a note of is the hellacious dead pile of Oliver. Yes, it does look like there are a lot of dead Blood Angel models, so I think in between updates, some violence has happened. It does look like Brad has lost both his Sunshark Bombers and one of his Cold Star Commanders, but Oliver looks to be short a good 30 models 30 now Marines. that he yeah. wasn't before. So I believe the Crisis Suits finally came in and did the thing. We can see that there's a squad of Crisis um, in his back line now behind the ruin where many of them were hidden. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what did the did the deed, as it were. Um, back to our game, we're seeing that that Hive Tyrant's come up. Um, it's taken a few wounds. Um, yeah, it got shot a couple of times. I was I was really surprised to see it get shot when it was so close to the hive guard. Uh, sorry, the the, the, the tyrant guard. guard. So, is the, the 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 tyrant guard's uh, bodyguard is directional, right? So mm -hmm. the idea was that the two bombers were closer to the hive tyrants than they were the tyrant mm -hmm. guard. Is the only way, only thing I can assume happened. I suppose that's a positioning error error by Alex, but there's so much shooting. On it's the also so hard to position against planes, exactly right? Because right. they can just exactly fl right. fly it's 40, 50 inches and be where they need to be. Spot on. Looks like we've had a couple of smites and some uh, and or some shooting come through here, doing some damage to a couple of different planes. I'm really interested to see what the, the Parasite and Mortrex play is going to end up being. Uh, the last unit of Ravitas has just been placed in the top right-hand corner. They're going to be the reload that probably goes to deny the... Um, the middle objective. We have seen three Tyrant Guard. Knowing there's no OPSEC in the bottom left-hand quarter, there's no OPSEC in the bottom left-hand qu quadrant, guys. So there's three Tyrant Guard. We're going to try and charge that commander, pile and consolidate onto the objective, and if everything goes well, Alex, Mikey, Bevan, another zero on primary. And then in that case, the game will, will definitely be over. Cooked. And I would not be surprised if, if they decide to call it there so that they can get a little bit of extra rest. Yeah, it would, it would just be... And, uh, yeah. and uh, when we had our little break there, I did walk over to the table and I did tell them, guys, that there is no shame if you guys feel like the game is over. Uh, you don't have to give us that big of a show. We do love it because they've both I mean, been so sportsmanlike. Evan. And Evan really 
did like 90% of what it, he brother. needed to do. He went for it. If yeah. he had been able to put like four more wounds on those gargoyles, I'd say it would be... Uh, It'd be up. Well, if, also, if this was a mission that wasn't Sticky Objectives. Sticky Objectives yeah. is also it's killing him. ruining yeah. him. Yeah, it really is. Went to the psychic phase. Let's have a little listen in. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we'll smite here. Super smite. Yeah, that seems strong. Dealing two. Cool. Just That's annoying. kill him on one. Yay. <laughs> Probably means I'm actually going to throw my <laughs> biovores here. I'm going to just put my wound counter oh, yeah, under one. Sure. Wait, I had two left? No, I had one left now. Oh, okay. You didn't. I tried to. How many tell wounds? You, 11? I told you to put it on three. 12. 12. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then. You we'll got to look excited about that, actually. I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, no. no. I will go proxism, so no overwatch. That seems good. Yeah. That'll go off on a seven. Mm, roughly. This is the turn. Yeah. Um, and then we'll do. Throw a smite this sure. way, because it's closer. Sure. Yeah. Goes off. Oh, not a super smite? No. <laughs> There's a first. Three. Uh, you can put me on nine. There's two dice. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's go for oh. some charges on. Thank oh, no, shooting. So let's throw some mines this way. Yeah, that makes sense. It's number of <laughs> is that hits or shots? <laughs> number of shots. That's a wound now, so it's dead. How does that work? I just got to hit you and then does a mortal wound. Cool. Nice. Bas it basically actually hit you with a spore mine. Got you. Does it blow? Uh, no. It doesn't matter. That's what. Uh, yeah. It could hurt you. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> There's a plane right there. It's D3. Kind of oh, yeah. non game changing. Okay. Uh, I guess it could rack me on if I roll three. Uh, we'll go for some charges. I'll charge here. Cool. Uh, minus two for shits and gigs. Okay. Because, hold on, before you roll it, sorry, I just want to oh, nice. check all around. It's a four either way. So, fours and fours. Uh, you don't have three rerolls up on your charge, do you? No. Cool. So, I'll, I'll make it a six. Yep. Cool. Okay. I will reroll it. That seems smart. There we go. That would have been so cheeky. <laughs> So I go six, right? So you're going six, yeah, correct. That would have been such a dumb swing for this game. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I would, I would have go read, this way? Yeah, go for it. I would have uh, felt bad on your behalf. It, the minus two isn't the squad, it's him, right? It's the squad, actually. Okay. Then, yeah, see where we can go. Yeah, all right. Sweet. Is he good in melee? Yeah. Really good? Well, not great, but yeah. it's okay. Uh, this is on a four. Yep. There we go. Healthy. Folks, while you Alex know, um, makes all these charges and ruins Evan's life, <laughs> you just need to note that um, <laughs> Brad Chester, every turn of his game, has unbuttoned another button from his shirt. Yeah. I just noticed this, but he just seems to be becoming progressively more naked uh, the more models he kills, and I yeah. just don't know what to say about that. Uh, I, I have some things to say about that, but I'll save them for, uh, for off air. <laughs> um, all we can say is that let's pray this isn't a six-turn game. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to get mortals on the way through. Cool. Uh, BA22452, you have a question. Going. Lay it on us, baby. But we are going to start <laughs> the, the with bones of his turn first. markers. So he doesn't and forget. That's actually yeah, genius. Two, I should do that. With all, all ones. What is a space and marine? All wins. All I think we're all really space marines at heart. Normally, that's the relic. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So we'll start here. I think. I mean, I am at least. I'm going to say oh, that Brad has actually been a very good boy today, and I only see like three bottles of water in front of him. Yeah, I don't. He's shaking his head because he knows that he hasn't been. But I'm yeah. trying to I'm trying to be good for his image. Yeah, we're, so we're, we're trying to rehab. Try to <laughs> <laughs> and if it weren't for the fact that he's almost naked now, um, <laughs> we'd be doing much. We'd better. be doing much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us see where this fire. Well, we're in the fight phase. Kay. This is gonna be a big one. And one parasite to go through. 
What does that just mean? Just a mortal wound. Okay. Oh, and another save, but it's only minus two. Okay, so I'm still gonna take a four up. That's fine. That's okay. fine. Uh, cool. So I take a mortal on the shield drone. I guess I have to take it yep. on. That's fine. Val oh, half a okay. We're gonna start with chatting. legs. Thank you to everyone for involved Hilarious. in the show, to the players, and to everyone else. Thank you so much, Val, for your support. You are a legend. Um, you definitely don't give enough. You should definitely give us uh, some so more money for now. all the tech, oh. hours, blood, sweat, and tears you put Get into it? this production. Obviously, it's just insufficient. Minus four, because you're higher than strength five for sure. Minus four damage. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm on four. Sorry, what's the damage on it? Just one. Okay, that's four because of shield drone. Okay, so my shield drone dead. Oh uh, yeah. I think Val's trying to be sappy with his messages and yeah, keep donating uh, money to us. I think so, yeah. That's beautiful. It is, it is quite gorgeous. Forbes, yeah. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Val. That's fine. Drone down. There's one drone and a one marker left. Okay. One shield, one marker. Yeah. <laughs> Clan mode. Someone got this Val guy a job at FLG. <laughs> uh, uh, you can stay clown <laughs> mode. You're, you're good quality. Cool. Okay, boy. All in. And juice. Yeah, I'm strengthened. insanely strong. Flyrant Reaper Fly what? has hit with everything. Okay. Eight. Looks like they have a wounded with Eight it. Eight it is, huh? Minus a pain, no bones. Uh, no children. We're good. Children. We're good. Children. 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 Dead. Yeah, that was, that was what pretty cool, this? though. Yeah, what that was fantastic. Was I'm super thrilled about what it. What is this? <laughs> I think that was. I think that's the. Uh, mock lock. I thought I was going to snap the entire. You might have got that one. Reaper Tyrant. Um, Reaper Tyrant went oh, we down. We might even see yes, the Reaper Tyrant is the yeah. white one. Might as well. I remember that from before. Um, so he's going to um, die. A marker would die. And wow. what's the damage on this? Plot three. That one so shield drone one guy just took like three quarters of damage. Six out of eight wounds. Once again, shield drones are not fair. Do I use the CP now, or do I use the CP once I roll two four ups on a guy? I'm going to see people next turn. I'll go up to two, maybe three. I'll just keep the streak going. I have okay. three more saves to make. Okay. So here we go. Nope, wasn't meant to be. Okay. Drone, Marker's drone is going to die. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have two more now to make. Okay. And you did not fail both. And I failed both. Great job. Okay. Duh. So one man dead? One man dead. Okay. Uh, I guess that wasn't exactly the result you were hoping for on this objective. No. No, I was just going to scoop it. Because it's my objective now. And I'm obviously in base to base with you. Uh, or well, you're as close to, to base. Yeah, yeah. I'm, the idea was I'm yeah. not pulling myself out of engagement range so you can't overrun. Yeah. Okay, I'll, currently this is mine. That I have is, five crew and three dudes. Oh, you put all five in there? Okay. Okay. I said that would be okay. good. Okay, yeah, sorry. Right. It's, you're good. We didn't, we didn't you that. miss the word group in that, uh, in that top ruin. Yeah. So that's I, big I, I knew they were there. I didn't know if they were on the objective. I so thought at least a couple must be on. But the, but the Mark Law Tyrant whipping Bounced. like that, that shield drone tanking so much. Ridiculous. Only losing one crisis suit. I mean, I know Evan probably would have wished he'd, he'd done something different so he wouldn't have lost any because that would have been absolutely terrible mm -hmm. for Alec. Um, Gavin's really making this a game. He's he really, is. he's gonna make this as close as possible, yeah, guys. I mean, he, he still might lose ninety to ten, but he's mm. gonna he's gonna do he's his best. Roll it out. Wow, we yeah. the commander lived as he's well. Too. So that will not be uh, hive hive tyrant. So hive guard yeah, piling in I think he's four tyrants. He's gonna get an eight. He's, well he's going to get an eight on primary. A big big thing for Evan here. No. Big turn. Um, okay, I'll punch you back over there. Mm -hmm. Really big turn. Uh, yeah, yeah pile in. Make well, sure I get my. It was just all RNG. Shoot, uh, essentially, just that shield. Well, well done, dice. Well done, Evan's dice, yeah. which really, we gave the you. The real hero. Yeah. The dice. So well done, all casino all dice. And I'll pile <laughs> this guy. I just piled in. Yeah. Yep. That Matt Morris always saying, stole. I'll, I'll have it in the next 12 inches. He only took one, guys, and I told him he could do it. You can literally take one. And I told Charlie Andre to take one too because he was having a day. They've got like 40. I'll punch you. There's a lot. If we ever get somebody crazy. On, on stream, do you we'll keep do something about it, but it does oh, look okay. like uh, Dustin is ready to throw us yeah. another update here. So Hopefully, excited. he'll actually know what's happening in a Harlequins uh, game. So Dustin uh, only plays Gene Sorcerer Cults. He's yeah, never actually, actually seen another person. army in his I life, um, so it is a little bit hard for us. Um, so once these slaps are done, you don't have any like charge we'll like him, okay, guys? keep me in combat. At, like no, yeah, pursue me afterwards or anything. More Texas how many wounds? Six. Minus one to hit. No rerolls. Um. I have no rerolls. Minus one in combat, too? Yeah. So yeah, just minus one all the time. And toughness. Oh, Rune God, thanks for the subscription. Five. Also, everyone, Rune you need to understand, Rune Dustin five. can hear everything I say, <laughs> and I just don't care. <laughs> like, he, like, he, You're there's nothing more after He's uh, threatening me. He's <laughs> nodding. I don't know what to do. 
Coons? He's yes. gonna headbutt you with that with that nug. That I'm way bigger than Dustin, guys. He's like that, way bigger. Dude, his head. Look at look at the Don't passage. Do this, Alex. <laughs> this is not how this game is going to go. 17% yeah. bigger. Head like, like, like a fire hydrant. Um, okay. So I'm gonna get a hold more. So I have two guys on this, and I hold that and this. Yep. Yeah, the thought was. The yeah, thought was definitely kill was kill him and, and then, then have that objective. objective. Oh, yeah, that, that no. seems like a good play. They're looking at Evan getting 12. Uh, it's, the middle has been stickied by the Warriors, so it should mm. not be getting a 12. We'll see. Should not be getting a 12. Okay, we're going to cut to Dustin. FLG in coverage of the Las Vegas Open is made possible by the generous support of our sponsors. Alkilabs.com Matalus.com Play with magic. Frontline Gaming Champions of Tabletop. Best Coast Pairings. Competitive events made easier. The Army Painter. More time for gaming. Live game scores are powered by the Tabletop Battles app. Available now on Android and coming soon to iOS. Welcome back to the live update. And I have seen other armies. They're just all on my team because I infiltrate all of them and turn them to my side, Falcon. I know them all. They just don't matter to me. And no, I don't have any updates for the Harlequin game. It is still dead even. I'm sorry. It's the point for point. I I do have something to tell you, though. The Nick versus Ben game is over. The question was, could Ben use what he had left to get the points back? And the answer was no. Nick did win that game, and he is the next player going into our finals tomorrow. And he is walking away right now. He just, he just mic dropped. I don't even need to turn around. He, he, it's fine. So, so everybody wave goodbye. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Nick. Congratulations. Back to the live game. God, Nick Donavati, what a legend. What a he, dude. Look, and look, he's, I'm watching him walk away. He's so lost. He's looking for Paul Murphy. I want you guys to all know. <laughs> he's like, Paul, where are you? Like we were supposed lodestone. to go to the whiskey bar. Like a He's just stone. pounding back a Gatorade like it like it did him harm. Um, <laughs> like a moth to the Paul Murphy flag. I he love see, that man. He will seek him out. And I'm so excited to see uh, <laughs> Nick making it into the top eight as well after effectively retiring from 40K. Yes, and uh, now he's in the top eight. Retiring top for six weeks or so. He was, he was gone for a good two years, mate. He didn't well, play in the last you know, one. He, yeah. He's like COVID 230th was in the ITC right now, so he yeah. obviously didn't quit. Quit. No, he d yeah, it's true. He didn't. Well, this he just didn't want to participate in any super majors because he didn't like losing. He played a little bit this year. <laughs> yeah, he, play, he played a few this year, but still, you know, I never heard of him. Nick Nanahu. Yeah, that's right. That's Nick, right. Whatever. Nick Nana, buddy. He's gone. Yeah, he's he gone. walked away. Long gone. Never to be seen or heard of again. This is this cranial feasting. Um, is it? And you take. One more to win. One more to win. Right. This cranial well, feasting uh, might end up biting um, Alex in the butt. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was a long shot. So I don't have it was a long that. shot. I think... Yeah, I have to pee so badly. Oh, my gosh. Just I like the, the consideration of these crisis uh, suits doing what they just <laughs> did. I was this close to the bottom of one scooping. Scooping. Just I know. Just, just um, and that crisis commander okay. surviving to the Ravagers. So we're going to fall back for free. But, yeah. The tire card. Yes. Evan getting a 12. Like he, It actually puts him in a position where... He might make this a game. Look, if he gets a 12 turn 4, 12 turn 5, um, he gets, what, 36 on his primary? Yeah. Um, I do, I will acknowledge right now, I do not believe he got a 12 that turn. I think the middle objective is sticky to, oh no, there's, there's, um, there's drones on it. Yes, yeah, there's that's drones. what he did. He jumped yeah, those drones right. over. I'm just looking at it right now, and they were hard to see with the top down. So the drones do hold the middle, and yeah, that is a 12. <laughs> why do drones get to hold objectives? Why do drones? Why, why do drones? Why, why do drones? Drones, Why? Yeah. Daniel Rees, who is our, our judge for this uh, shadow round, is also nodding his head totally by the drones. In total agreement. Why drones? Yeah. Adam Solis, uh, also a major judge for FLG, is here, but he's actually not doing anything. Yeah. Um, he's just staring at Jack Harpster with the beauty in his eyes. Um, <laughs> a couple other judges just walked in because I was talking about them. Yeah. And it's become a, like a scene and, from the and Warriors they, and movie. And they love it so they, much. Thomas, uh, Thomas Hager, Hager is Hager Moki. snapping his fingers and um, looking at me. Looks like something that would be found uh, in a very old 80s movie. I just feel like a, someone's going to do a violence to me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is going to do a violence to me. There is a crime. I'm going well, to be crying. What was the so okay okay? There's two films that come to mind. What was the one with the um, the superheroes? One one that had the shovel. Oh, the, the mystery the, men. The mystery men. And then what's the bowling one with Bill Mur Bill Murray and um, 
Mystery Men. Yeah, that one. Thomas Tokumoki should should have been a cast a casting Mystery Men. Ghostbusters. Yeah, go. Yeah, what what superpower would you have? What lame superpower? Yeah, I'll he, leave. He likes snake invisibility. I like have it. a think. Report back to me. Okay, yeah, to, let's to pay attention to the actual also. game. We're sorry, folks. We're getting. We, we got off. <laughs> off a little off kilter. The shadow, here. shadow round does strange things to all of us. And and honestly, Evan just keeps talking about how he needs to use the bathroom, and no one is going to let him. <laughs> ah yes. So. Okay, so Thomas has uh, infinite knowledge of useless things. He can never mm. tell you a fact of you that is of use at the time. But that's what he already does. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute sass exuding off you, Mr. Peter the Falcon. It's what happens is, when I reach this level of tired. That you're at your zenith right now. I'm at my zenith. Yeah. My, <laughs> my, my, <laughs> I am like the sun shining down upon uh, all of you. The sun of sass. Camera on you guys. It's, it, well, funnily enough, oh, still both cameras full of gas. On us? Like, a, Just a like second. a regular sun and yourself, both full of gas. We are professionals. I am. I don't know what you These su- uh, glasses that FLG just provided and you'll be able to purchase at some time, I assume, make you look like you're a fly. I just need you guys to know that, but from a distance. So if I were to be back there by the table and you were looking at me, you'd be like, that's a fly man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Peter that's on the wall. That's not an FLG wouldn't, thing. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you also like to be a Peter Reese, on the wall? At various Reese Richard Robbins. Oh, you're going to give someone a fucking seizure. Reese Richard Robbins. Fix this. Fix this. <laughs> Different <laughs> colors. <man. laughs> anyway. Let's go uh, to the game. Well, let's cut to the player audio, see what's happening here. I can hear Evan talking to himself a little bit more. Um, he <laughs> does not believe he should be in this situation, but he is. And now he has to actually learn how to play Warhammer. I know. What a shock. On two. They're bombing five yeah, ravagers yeah. for two and a half mortal wounds. Isn't that exciting? You can come reach me and touch me anytime you want. So we're just gonna hang out over here. Mm-hmm. Um, am I shooting this neurotherp through? Oh, three? I've taken that wound counter away now. How many wounds does this neurotherp have? Six. Therps are so streaky, man. They get streaky. And the neurotherps moved how much? Uh, ten and still do the thing. And then you could advance, couldn't you? That's with the advance. Okay. But there's no reason not to. Yeah, of course. So you could go 10, so you wouldn't be able to over the next turn, but the following turn you would. And then these guys have a 3-ups or 4-ups? 4-ups. Okay. Okay. I am going to try to blow these guys up, I think. Okay. Bomb gun? Yeah, and then just going to fall back over here, and I'll stay outside of heroic range. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm gonna have two equidistant to each of your guys so that Sounds I can good. pop off either way. And um, he's long just gonna try to skill this guy. So if that doesn't work, then I can just hopefully do it there. Yeah. Um, and he's gonna fall back and shoot yeah. in your face. And this dude. This whole thing just doesn't work. And I have to just be closer to you because I don't think I have enough shots to pick up this freaking squad. What's their arm? They're two ups, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, we're going to stay close. Okay. Fuck. I'm not going to get Chapter Master. Okay. Um, unless I fire and fade it, which is maybe a play. These guys are just going to come here. I'm going to touch here, as we talked about, and then I will consider okay. going to you versus going there. Can you? What's what your you minimum mean? move? Oh, I don't know. Show me 20. Um, so, your, where's your other flyer? That's probably the easiest way to do it. Just use this one, I mean. It doesn't really matter. So you were here, because I was here, and you were closer. Yep. So maybe I'm just towing on that part. Uh, yeah, no, you can, you can go longer than 20. Yeah, that's yeah. past 20. So I'm good? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, and then just pivot there. Mm-hmm. I just have targets if anything happens. If anything, it's weird. Okay. Uh, two CPU failed to roll. <sighs> so you're telling me there's a game on our hands still. Mm-hmm. Um, there always was. I didn't believe it. This is the matchup I've been trying to dodge the entire event. I've been doing really well so far. <laughs> Dodging it? Yeah, this is like... Sweet. You can do all your damage from so far away. That the speed is great, but like... And also this can happen. Yeah, Like, yeah, the rolling was nuts. Yeah. But it's just... There's a number of times it can happen, because you've got the chill drones, and then you've got like... The four-ups, too. Yeah. That gets just so streaky. Yeah. Um, their five plasmas can just go there, and the rest of their shots will just go here. And clear out that squad. Okay. Because I don't have other plasma targets to shoot. You bet. Um, and that would be my okay, only fire and fade. 
the just your back chapter master we just initially talking out some just some stuff um, um we're going to get you the update essentially and moment. i will probably let the shooting phase go through mark away from him very important into the nerve that i'm going to try to pop again to as always uh, ever since he somehow didn't die turn one and we're going to see how this plays out into them um do i need extra ap against you the ap4 he's putting on sixes i can ignore cover with target lock uh, I obviously want to just see you, like, if I need to be somewhere more to see all of you. Sure. Uh, I guess I need to be here, and if I kill two, then maybe I don't see you anymore. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, sorry. I'll spend the CP. They will fire and fade. This is going to be the three with target lock first. Mm -hmm. Three roll trapter master. Two. Uh, threes. Okay. Three roll. Two wounds. Maybe four, I'll we'll cover. Here? Yes. Okay. So sixes? Yes. Here. Cool. Damage? And uh, flat three. There are three ones each, right? Yeah. No, they're four ones each. Oh my god. Okay. Annoying. That's fine. Okay. No worries. Uh, okay. Reroll the one miss. Wound. One more wound. You do get cover, so maybe take another guy in cover. I it's all that's left. It's oh. guys in cover. Oh, he's touching? Cool. Yeah. Sweet. That didn't really go exactly. You were ignoring cover anyway, so I was like, well, I'll better pull them out of the ones that are not in cover. Totally. That's fine. Uh, over here, do you want me to roll 45 shots into those guys? This, that's just going to happen. Also, you know, um, maybe I would have photobombed it. I'm going to just bomb the three tyrant guard that I fly over. It's kind of a meme. Yep. You know what? Yeah, I just bomb the three tyrant guard. Cool. I killed one. Because <laughs> obviously. Okay. Um, all right. Can we jump six? I have pushing against mortal wounds. Oh, cool. I didn't even it. think about it, but you. This is your one mortal wound generation. Go for it, dude. I'll stop one. Nice. So I don't. You did punk three, it. you said. I did right? three, yeah. Okay. Right, well, that three wouldn't have killed me anyway, but. Oh, cool. Didn't matter. Okay. Cool. Um, so let's do long strike into that guy. Because it's kind of cheeky. Mm -hmm. um, sorry. I missed the marker light there, and I don't have any of the marker lights, and the free buff just went to them, so it didn't matter. Uh, on a three. This is. Sorry, I'm not looking. Three roll. This is uh, long strike? This is long strike. Okay, I'm going to try and zoom in. Okay, cool. Uh, sweet. So on a four, I hit. By the way, I get to reroll. Oh, okay. he's back in it. It's the right call. And uh, gun drone. Oh, sorry. I have to have two gun drones here. They're just gonna shoot these guys, I guess. Yeah. They're just hanging out. Yeah, there was nothing to do with them. Meaningful. So they're just hanging out. Um, you're not wounded. Let's go do the actual. I need to kill you thing over there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna explode into the two and two because mm -hmm. that's just how that works. How many wounds does the Parasite have? Six. Six. Okay. I'm sorry. I obviously wanted to stay in range of the rerolls that I talked about. So, I'm so you're going this here. way? Just fall back there. Is that okay? okay. Yep. That was definitely the, the whole point. They don't have any rerolls. Okay. He could just be in the open. It's fine. Um, so two are exploding into the Hive Tyrant. Two are not exploding into the Hive Tyrant. Okay. So the two that are exploding into the Hive Tyrant, I'm hitting you on fours, rerolling. No rerolls. Against here. Okay. Cool. So just rerolling ones. And I'm gonna put all of the plasma into uh, the tyrant's on. I mean, I can see you with the plane, so I'll just go with the plane if I have to. And I'll start with just, I'll split it. All the plasma into the hive tyrant. Mm -hmm. He is catalyst, right? Yeah. All the plasma into the hive tyrant. Yeah, but... um, all the air burst into the, still wouldn't be on fives either way. The air burst will split as is, and mm -hmm. the cyclics will split as is. Okay. So the two plasmas with exploding, and the two plasmas without, uh, reroll ones. Cool. Um, I got two exploding, uh, one exploding hit mm -hmm. on the plasmas. This is going to be on threes. Yep. And I'll use. I'll let you roll two saves and then take a free reroll if I need to. Okay. Didn't you just use a reroll? Did I? Like uh, reroll ones, reroll ones to hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't use a reroll one. Did. Good to go. Cool. So here's a reroll. One more wound. That's kind of cocked. Or okay. reroll. There you go. Okay. Nope. Go through. How much take, damage? Take three, three, right? Yep. Two? Three. three. Okay. Cool. Takes three. Oh, go for it. Takes two. Uh, and I said everything else split evenly. Is that what I said? Uh, there was a bunch going here as well. Cyclic. Or cyclic, I think you split. Yeah, I think I split them evenly. Uh, this is the cyclic. Cool. Let's go ahead and get uh, no marker light. So fours with an explosion. Uh, threes. Mm -hmm. Four, please. This was here? Oh, uh, no, I'm the hive turn. Okay. Four? Yeah, AB2 damage, too. Cool. Take two. 
cat. Three, one, two, reverse, three, <laughs> hello, uh, roll ones, one, eight, nothing, okay. Uh, and then I have the six clicks into the other guy. They're all exploding. Uh, sixes are, the threes miss, and the four misses also, because you're minus one. Minus one. Cool. So two more hits. Threes. Five. Okay. AP. AP two. AP two damage twos. Okay. He's dead. And the air burst are wasted. And homie is on two wounds left. So currently left, I have two characters and a plane. Okay. So it would be a shame if uh, this doesn't go exactly. Well, what shot here? Uh, the five, five most long range. Oh, okay. And long strike shot and miss. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with. Well, he has to shoot here, so he will. Okay. Don't explode. Uh, threes. Free roll. Nice. Just one before. That's from Shadowson? Correct. Uh, D6 plus two, just gonna kill guy. I guess, Not necessarily. I guess sorry, right. I keep forgetting that they have more than three wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, missile pod. Use my reroll already. That's an explosion, so we're gonna keep it. Two, please. Maybe one damage, two. Okay. Good to go. Uh, yeah, I think you get cover. Okay, and uh, this commander will shoot here. Oops, mm -hmm. sorry. I'm just gonna leave that. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, Say quick. Mm -hmm. Reroll, cool, exploded. Um, do I get explodes when I fall back after using Kion? I gotta check. I wouldn't know that. I have to check that real quick. I love Alex. Sorry. I love Alex too. Just I wouldn't know that. Oh yeah, there was also three explosions. I'm talking about Wills. Uh, What's the SP velocity of an unladen's flare? Oh, okay. He fell back naturally. Uh, European or African? No, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> That's so guys, why listen, this, this shooting turn has gone actually very well for Alex mm -hmm. given the scenario he was put in, yeah. that hive tyrant being able to um, transhuman the the gunshot from long strike, long strike. Um, and then soaking all the damage from those mm -hmm. uh, crystals. The fact he only lost the parasite of Mortrex yep. at Morax is is big news here, um, because he could have lost both, and then this game is whipped around yeah. on its head. Yeah, absolutely right. The the guy goes in the right hand corner have gone down as well. So Alex is actually and losing his uh, ability to get a bunch of primary points, but it doesn't really matter. He's already he's already on twenty. So essentially, if he just plays to get the tertiary, as in he goes into the middle objective and kills the, the two, um, I don't think I rolled okay, one kills the two. I think I one more drone. He gets three points on direct assault. Killed an objective. Killed an objective. Sorry, no. Yeah, killed an objective. Killed an objective. Took an objective. Didn't have, and then just gets his last warp ritual, like. He just should just should be sitting pretty. He should, should be okay, yeah. but like Evan has made this like he's and brought it back. No prisoners has a lot of points to be added. Direct action is going to be ad is going to be maxing. Decisive it's, action. It's, it's decisive yeah. action and aerospace. Well, we'll have to see. Um, I will stop being an idiot and I'll roll this one at a time for the record. Alright, taking two mortals already. And the last batch. This is my dice. So I don't want to. Oh, use. he took damage last time too. Uh, I don't think he. Whatever. Yeah. Um, so I'm taking, I think, three mortals. Oh, so that was yeah. really bad. Okay. Um, it's totally fine. We'll save the wounded rolls for when we need it. That's one of our dice. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's one of our dice. Um, threes. Mm -hmm. And I'll use my free roll. Uh, T string seven, right? Tank straight. Oh, okay. That's why I'm overcharged. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Three, six, seven. Okay. Just gotta make them all. What do we do? Cool. What does it give you? So he's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah so. Does you it blow? Us, though. Hmm? I mean, you'd cat us if you wanted to roll or not. Oh, um, yeah, because I guess I only failed three. How much damage yeah. are there? Two each. Two each? Yeah. You could totally spike on me. No, nope. I don't like that. Okay. Does he blow? Um, all right. I'm gonna get four on, uh, on decisive. Okay. That's the first one? Yes, it is. Okay. And over to you. Get a one on primary. Sounds good. Um, 
I got four okay, guys, we're going to cut to Man, Dustin here. I don't know oh. what my no prisoner score is. Apparently Dustin decided to go sit down. Who we're going to cut to him, Dustin and he's just Jesus. literally sitting on the Jeez. edge of the stage. He can Thank hear me you. still, and he hasn't stood up. I think. <laughs> oh, no, you know what? Yeah. No, he's looking around. He's wondering who's saying these things. It's, um, well, this name definitely turned around. Seriously, you mm -hmm. just uh, not totally. This matchup is uh, like at this so point, that's what me. we have to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you want to check the points and see? If it does look like there were a couple of mistakes there on that high card. I do believe it probably um, should have lived because whopping it was transhuman. Right and and that's 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 should have wounded on the round. Dustin is rolling on the stage now. He literally rolled like a log. He's dancing stood up. Now he's bouncing on his little comfortable loafers. He's ready. Probably do my work. Enthusiasm. Of a spry yeah, hamster, or, or or whichever, off. depending how you, how you think about it. I like it both. Yeah, Let's go, go Justin. Thank, Thank you so much. Welcome back, and I do have some updates for you on both the Harlequin mirror match and the Bang Bra drones. Bra okay. What What are you doing? I have something in my pocket. I now have the update for the Harlequin matchup, and uh, Harlequin's won. Yeah. I'm just kidding. No. So I'm shook by this development. Can you give there was one two, primary swing where been, Tim lost one yes, too many okay. troops, and he got four less so primary than he needed. Like so Mike Porter won by two me. points and will be uh, the fourth, fourth player boss. going into so the going finals 20. tomorrow. So congratulations yeah, yeah. to Mike, and well right. done, Tim, yep. on a great run this season. The Bradchester game came down to another two-point game, but Brad pulled it out. So Brad will also be joining the finals tomorrow and he has already yeah, you know, mic dropped about and walked out of the venue the in the same flavor yeah. as Nick Donavati. We will see them both tomorrow morning and we wish them the best of luck. Um, we have some more updates coming for you but for now let's there. get back to the live game. Your virtual. Put somebody on your we have seen a the, you know, the four ravenous just yeet themselves from the top right into the bottom right looking to charge and hopefully at the very least to pick up the sergeant from that unit yeah if it picks up the sergeant six points of cranial feasting it's a big pull, deal pulling ahead it's a huge deal i'm actually surprised he didn't get cranial feasting for the top left as well mm -hmm. um i assumed the christ suit that went down was the one that had the feel no pain but it may not have been yeah. totally may not have been so yeah um really badly I'm not really quite sure if he's going to be able to get the last point on his uh, Wolf Ritual this turn. He remains to be seen. I'm not quite sure what that dark model is in the middle of the board. Uh, I believe that's his narrow throw. I just sounds as well. Yep. So that, that, that'll be another, yep. that'll be his Wolf Ritual completed. And, like, I mean, he's, he's going to get a godload of points this turn, possibly. He is going to get quite a bit of turns. Uh, quite a bit of turns. <laughs> quite a bit of points. Um, but he's on the verge of a tabling. Uh, it's a diz, diz, did he get enough? The the mistakes made on that on that uh, hive tyrant in the top left I think are mm. really big because yes. the hive tyrant should still be alive. It should still be alive. Um, yeah. We'll have to see if that if that yeah. kills him or not, or if that like yeah. is the turning point. But it, Evan yeah. has done everything oh, he could I'll to claw snipe, himself back, snipe, back yeah. in. Absolutely. Oh, he yeah, went with a super snipe to kill the uh, the flyer. I, it's a good idea, no, funny enough, honestly, because if he does <laughs> that, <laughs> there's really not much that can threaten him. What the hell? He just he just clocked the six and rolled the five to one shot that. Yep. Oh man! That and now he can wait on warp ritual until yeah. next turn. Well, uh, it doesn't need to. He did that with the zone thrips in the top right, mm. so mm. warp ritual can, say, can like still like absolutely count. They're kind of like down. gumdrops. I feel like they're like rainbow. Honestly, I kind of want Oh, it was the zone throw to the top right that did the smite. Oh, I thought it was the zone throw in the middle was still free. Oh, perfect. You know what, guys? I'm sorry. It's fine. You know You know who I blame? I blame Seth Oster. Guys, Seth Oster has been a big help to us. He just threw a lip gloss at me. And you want everybody to know this has been a crime. A violence has been done to me. Um, but I needed the lip gloss, and it's cool mint, so I'm going to use it anyway, despite the weird rash on his face. And then try to give it back to him. This isn't lip gloss. Oh my god, mistakes were made. It's glue. It's glue. Mm. Uh. Why did I do that? Yeah. Now try. But it's it SPF 15, guys. SPF yeah. 15. You're gonna be blue. safe from the the high UV lighting in this room in this shadow round. He uses it on his forehead, as far as it I'm does. told. Here you go, bud. Yeah. <laughs> so after the, the after being assaulted there. like that, just like Evan is now assaulting <laughs> Alex, um, this is this has been such a much better game than we thought it was going to be I after honestly, turn one. I'm extremely happy that the, that the way this game has gone. I thought it was going to be completely over. Yeah, um, I mean the players did too. Yeah. Evan was like, I just want to go to the bathroom this, now. And this then now, roundabouts have been enormous.
Ole Miss. I mean, he's he's still down 27 points. Alex is still going to be racking up some points. But Evan still has two full crisis suits there. Mm-hmm. He still has long strike. He still has um, one command and Shadow Sun. And Shadow Sun. So that's so much damage he can put out. Well, and so like we said, he needed damage. to table him in two turns, and he's actually kind of on track to get it done. I don't think it'll be enough with him turbo. I think he, don't think you table him. Firstly, he's got no. The, I think the bivores, the bivores, and everything in the back safe right. up in the top right. Pretty safe. But yes. I mean, tabling is pretty much just getting him to a state where he can no longer play the board, mm-hmm. in, as far as I'm concerned. As in, you control and are dominant on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, wiping is, is killing every model. So as soon, as soon, essentially, as soon as he kills this neuro, um, this unit of tyrant guy, this unit of ravenous, the table uh, is belonging to the tower, and they can really rack up. All their es- essentially all their um, secondaries. It is quite important actually that he keeps the stuff in the top right back and st- keeps him off the fourteen on their prisoners. Yeah. Because um, if you if you add a, what I believe is about eleven points to this, it's a lot closer than you think. Mm-hmm. Go oh, for sure. Squad. Between yeah, the no prisoners, sure. the decisive yeah. action. Chat's gonna think. I just like <laughs> <laughs> totally cheating. Like he saw this. Stop cheating, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not cheating. He just decided okay, uh, this question was a better part of Valor. He was going to try and go for another charge into that crisis okay. commander. But uh, where, from where he is right now, he can't really be shot. I have yeah. to pee so, so bad still, man. <laughs> um, it's not good. Our boy needs to pee really badly. Okay, I'm gonna I get believe okay. after, at the end of Alex's turn, we uh, should just let one? him go into the green room. We, we do have a special <laughs> oh, bathroom check One time. Yeah. Once per game. About five feet away. I'm going to check out and tell about that boy. Thank you. I'll just keep talking. Cool. I'm actually not. I'm going to let you guys listen into the players. Uh, I'm going to try to get an update on the Matt Morsoli Matt Estrada, Estrada game. I will tell uh, you, last I corner. heard, both players I were play adamant that the other player was going to win. The whole point is that I can fit a 40 mil base. Yes, he's been on my top of I do believe Scarborough has died as well. But he did take his pound of flesh when he deep struck in. All of Morsoli's deep strikes when they came in, he had charges. They're eight inch charges. And that kind of put into priority for a little bit here. And I'm waiting to get some kind of final score. Um, they're both really seriously into this, but the one thing I'm going to say about the shadow round, guys, I've, like I've said it before, this is my fourth shadow round I've been in. These things can get real chippy because they're very tired players, a lot of them at the top of their game, and um, this is probably the first time I've watched all of these games happen, and not a single person has has has, yeah. has really done anything. Like it's it's all been very amicable. All these guys are chatting up, they're laughing, they're smiling as best they can, given how tired they are. Um, lots of handshakes, lots of hugs. Um, we still have three games going on right now. We have Matt Estrada versus Matt Morisoli. The other stream game, Nassim Fushain against uh, Jay Eggett, Um is uh, is going strong, and that's a game that we thought was going to be a quick tabling, but Jay has played his butt off and put Nassim on his back foot. I don't know where that game is right now. Nassim may have spun it around. Um, it's just insane. Uh, so let's cut to the players because he's kind of he's kind of chatting with uh, with Adam right there at the table. Alec is while Evan goes to take a, a pee, and you can hear some of the things that are going on going through his head. Yeah, we don't care anymore. <laughs> Never mind, as soon as I cut to him, he just shut up. What is this, guys? Yeah, yes, what is this? Alex McDougal, Mr. Ogopogo himself, is absolutely <laughs> the worst person in Canada, yeah. by far. Yeah. I, he which, had makes one him, job. which still makes him the best person in Australia, if he was in Australia. Yeah, he had one job, which was to talk when I shut up, and then he just didn't. No, that's right. It's because he was, It's it, he'd have to apologize if he did now. Seth Oster, thank you so much for that lip gloss. My lips are, are tingling weirdly. I think it was poison. It was almost certainly either that or it was very hard drugs. He rubbed it on his forehead after it was, I put it on I, I believe it was very hard drugs. It could. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. else does, What else fuels Seth Oster? Zoomed in on war games live. Yeah. Um, Look at those war games live, guys. They're just so happy. He does that. Look at Adam Solis, Tom Higstermogi. Those guys are just hanging out. I bet they're having a good game. They're probably having a great game. The fact that they're still both standing there is already impressive. Dickie keeps correcting how I pronounce Nassim. It's probably Nassim, which he's, he's uh, probably Nassim. right. Fushain, you savage. And I've I'm said Fushain the, the entire I'm time. I'm the guy who pronounces everything wrong. So you're making me look good. Nassim. So please continue. Continue getting things wrong. It's I don't, great. I don't feel like it's Nassim. He's, he's never corrected me. But from what we hear, Chaos Space Marines have definitely put the, the, the boots to this Tau list. And this is a very um, different Chaos Space Marine yes, list. It it's is. got some some funk. I believe it's got a, a Charybdis Assault Claw. It does. And guys, if you get a chance to ever look at Jay's list, hopefully we'll get it on stream tomorrow. If he does manage to beat Nassim, um, 
It's it's all custom. It's all yeah. Gene Stealer cult Chaos yes. Space Marines. Yes, it's an uprising on a on a Chaos world. It's so it's crazy. crazy on a world in the warp. Uh, I, I love the concept. I think it's great. And yeah, beautiful beautifully executed. If he is up on that scene, that's a huge. Well, from what I heard, man. turn one started with Nassim leaving an opening, um, and a unit of five possessed got into his back line Ooh. and took out way more than they probably should have. They rolled hot as well. There you go. So most of his obsec was killed turn one, and it put him on the back foot. He didn't expect. Damn. It. I mean, all all everything in in the Empress Children Army is just jacked at the moment. Mm -hmm. I th like all, all the three damage um, blast masters are really good in that matchup. The Terminators Abaddon is Abaddon is really hard for him to come to groups with. Like how does Tau like actually come to groups with Abaddon? Uh, ha having to two turn him, three turn him, four turn him at times. And it's so really awkward. Guys, um, I'm just listening in. It looks like they're looking at their primary uh, score. Um, Alex has, has told Evan that he's pretty sure that he can just keep away for the rest of the game. Um, Evan seems to be agreeing, so they're just kind of counting out to see who would who would score what if they played if they just if they just stayed where they are. Who who comes out on top? Yeah, he needs to know. And of course, the the Raven is in the bottom. Probably still try and make their charge and deny that objective, leaving. Um, and also, yeah, of course, he has killed the two the two so drones in the middle. So right now, he's giving an eight. To so Evan, so, so even if he gets a, even if he gets a 12 at the end, I believe he only stays on the the 26 that he is right now. So 42 to 58 still hasn't caught him. So it's pretty much where does he get on no prisoners? Where does he get an aerospace targeting? That's going to be where things come together. The um, decisive action probably is still doable for a 12. Yeah, yeah, and that's what they're trying to working on here. Like, uh, can the drones make it um, to, to for his decisive action? And his uh, what can he get for an aerospace relay? Mm. I honestly think Alex might have to go get a cranial feasting. Off of it as well. yeah. But now that now that they know that, well, he just doesn't take the wounds on the on the characters, doesn't take the wounds yep. on the sergeants. And I think that's what they're doing is like, uh, what does Alex need to do to make sure he wins? Well, he might need to yeet into this commander again with the tyrant guard. Yeah. Like if he does and he kills him with six point swing, um, it, it's a big deal, and that, that mm. might be the thing that and cinches this game. So there are still some one percenters available to both players, but man, as, oh, dude, do you see what the spore mines are? Do you see those spore mines? Yeah, there's like six spore mines just waiting there. Those crisis suits stay there; they're dead or they're getting nuked. It's, it's going to be really awkward. He's going to lose probably two. Well, one's like, one's got three wounds left, so that one's dead, and maybe another one if he's lucky. Hold on, man. Oh, they're actually I mean, just shaking it out. Yeah, insane. Yep. Let's see uh, what this final I, score you, was. You shouldn't have let a knuckle brain man who throws his if I get away, this, one, so you to do that. If I get this kill. Oh, I think Alex thinks uh, he can't win. Cranial. Yep. Uh, this becomes another four over here. Another yep. four. Yeah. I mean, if that just eats that too, yep. Mm. Then it's, it's just over. I just yep. got a zero, and then I'm yep. no They're calling yep. it for Evan. Yep. Alex doesn't oh, think wow. he can make it back. Yeah. Really? He thinks if Evan just plays it safe, well, that Alex can't pull it back. Uh, I don't Damn. And that Evan will I mean, win. I mean, this is a very gentle game. Of course, that is game. that is with like about twelve. I played like to Evan for no prisoners, you know but man, yeah. this matchup was, looks like screen. it was just so heavily against uh, Alex. I think he played it really well. I think Alex did everything he possibly could. Well, this was also a mistake. It's actually kind of insane. Anything here? Having seen how this is played. I mean, we said that he had an out, but he had to play his ass up. He did it. Yeah, and then there were some mistakes. Yeah. The hive turret probably didn't need to die at the top left, to give, just from insane. forgetting rules. That's right. Yeah. Um, there were, oh. but there was a lot of take backs in this game that were that was right. just so back up. Yeah. so sportsmanlike. Mm. It was so well played. Um, <sighs> we're gonna see if we well, if man. we can get one of these guys for an interview. Yeah, for sure. Listen, folks. Um, I will say they're all exhausted. If we don't get one, don't be sad. Don't be sad. Uh, we'll stay around just to get updates on the on the final game that's not on a stream between Matt Estrada and Matt, Matt Morsoli. Uh, but we're going to cut for a second to a sponsored ad, and we'll be right back once we get you some more information. FLG in coverage of the Las Vegas Open is made possible by the generous support of our sponsors. Alkylabs.com Matalus.com Play with magic. Frontline Gaming, champions of tabletop. Best Coast Pairings, competitive events made easier. The Army Painter, more time for gaming. Live game scores are powered by the Tabletop Battles app, available now on Android and coming soon to iOS. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with the winner of this round of seven matchup that you're lucky enough to enjoy. Alex McDougall versus Lovely. Evan Thompson. How you doing, mate? Congratulations on your win. Welcome Good to the to top eight for so the second year in a row, yeah? Yeah. Last year you were with the Custodes. This year you were with the Tau. Um, did you, so last year I know you played the Custodes because you thought they were like the hottest thing in the game. They were hot. They were, they were hot. Same reason? 
Um, I've been playing Tao all season, so I feel like I'm the most comfortable with them. I was mm -hmm. going to pivot between them or Emperor's Children. The big reason is that if you lose the roll off to her terrain and someone puts an L in the middle, like mm -hmm. happened in this game, if you can't melee your way into it, then you can't really crack it. Yeah, dude, exactly right. Mind you, you did a great job spreading the board um, quite hellaciously on your opponent there. Um, we thought, I honestly thought you were stuffed. But then, what, what happened? So turn two, tell us what happened. Because yeah. you just had to throw it all against the wall, and you did, right? Yeah. Uh, the previous game and one before, I, I was I kind of got burned by splitting the crisis so far. Because the mm -hmm. idea is basically the commanders have the 12-inch auras because they're yeah. tau Yeah. So you can kind of be 12 and 12, and then yeah. that gives you a good, good way to split. But I went really, really far, and then all of a sudden mm. you started losing buffs, and that's yeah. not great. Because that's exactly right. I call your list the two of everything. So you got the two bombers, two crisis, two commanders, and that's because you can just just split your army and go. Yeah. Here's a hundred points of really tough, really heavy hitting stuff, and here's another thousand points there. Yeah. Totally. Um, I mean, when this squad over here is having very little rerolls and very little mm -hmm. support, it's not great. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, this game I made some huge mistakes. Turn one, <laughs> trying to do this move block was a complete mess. Threw away the commander. Uh, really just couldn't get in my head that Tyranids, Kraken Tyranids, move so freaking fast. So fast, yeah. Like. Well, it's funny you say that because essentially the same thing happened on the rebound, didn't it? With your two planes getting his Reaper Flyer. So oh, yeah. you, you bombed him turn one, That's true. and then on the comeback, you dumped down, dumped down on both. And uh, yeah, really well done. Because, you yeah. know, you lost a commander, but he lost his best piece yeah yeah and essentially that's a commander that's a commander that's a commander like it actually ended up being in your favor totally i mean it's a dice game at the end of the day right like mm. big swings the crisis suits are always going to take like a little more damage than you think they will <laughs> Dude, shield drones are bullshit <laughs> yeah i mean i only take two shield drones so some people like ogden are running like more some people buff yeah. them up to like i think euro euro teams bring a lot of more uh, mm. of the shield drones but um uh, my plan is usually just throw enough crude garbage in front yep, and yep, just yep. keep screen your way out trying to make move blocks which against nids does not work as we saw in my turn one uh uh, Gaffel, I feel like you probably watched that on stream and thought this man is just has never. I don't know why you're putting the commander. Yeah, he's there. like this man's never played Warhammer. Like, <laughs> uh, well, really I thought. Apart. Well, the dogs you had here, yeah, I thought were better placed there, and then everything just further back than it was. Yeah, um, mind you, it was a good play. Uh, actually, I gotta got say, I don't know if you guys at, at home noticed, and hopefully we highlighted enough, but you guys played at the the, the, the highest level of sportsmanship. You guys Absolutely, were amazing, yeah. right? How did you feel yeah, about that? One hundred percent. I mean, there's nothing better than playing someone who, with with someone who's extremely gentlemanly. Mm. Um, you're playing by intent. It's just, uh, it's nothing like it. You know, I've played seven games today, and I've had a couple incredible gentlemen. I shouted out to Sam Pro Procopio earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. a guy from Toronto. Just like, when you're playing with someone who's just incredibly, just like, relaxed, like, you mm. know, let's not have a game where it gets too sweaty. You know, yeah. you're trying to flip your trap card on somebody. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, don't want to yeah. play that kind of game. Um, no, and I totally I'm, agree, dude. Yeah. Um, so you're made it, you've made it to the top eight. So far, the top eight, we're just going to tell you right now, Matt Morisoli has won his game. So de two demons have made the top eight. Okay. Two Tau, Brad Chester has won his top eight oh, wow. game as well. The Symphony Chain is the only game still in the process. It looks like he might be going down on that one. So at least two Tau, at least two demons have made wow. the top eight. How do you feel about your prospects when you get into tomorrow? So Tau versus Tau is maybe a roll-off situation. It, yeah, it might, it might be. be. If, I don't think this terrain, is, even this terrain is not good enough to totally. save this, right? If I'm going first and I just he has to maybe take his bombers off because if he keeps them on, they get blown, up, get blown up. So then I put bombers there, pick up hammerheads, yeah, yeah. jump out, and then it's just pretty bad because then the two bombers that he has don't come back on until mm. another two full turns. So that, that's a Tau matchup. And then my last game, six, was against Demons, which uh, I just have to keep throwing garbage out and yeah. try to push him back. Yeah, saturate, saturate, yeah. Exactly and that's right. kind of the plan. Um, so... We'll see. We'll do. Honestly, well, it comes out of terrain a lot, man. It, it comes does. Out of a lot it does. Of roles. Well, it's going to be on the good terrain. Uh, we're going to swap this one out for the sisters' table as well. And I just want to say congratulations. There's some gifts from one of our oh, major sweet. sponsors, the Army Painter. Congratulations for winning, mate. You paint your own stuff. Uh, this will uh, be the start of that. Oh, fantastic. Someone just threw something at me. It's very inconsiderate of me. Uh, we're going to throw to Joe. Sweet. Go watch Joe. Go watch some Joe. <laughs> We're going to wrap this one up. You yeah. can stick with us for some B-roll, for some sponsorship, for some other bits and pieces, wrap us up, maybe some interviews from Steve and Joel. And we will be back tomorrow with three more freaking games yeah. featuring this man. And I'm shouting out Carcosa Club, Brooklyn, New York. Hell yeah. Got it. Congratulations again, brother. Yeah, man, see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Let's do it. see you guys tomorrow. See Bless, enjoy, take care.